卡奇。Hey everybody! Happy Friday to you. Uh, to Fairy. Thanks for being a 37 monther. This year is ending already. Happy holidays, Kyle and Chat. Now, fortunately, there are several more days left in this month. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow as well. Uh, and then taking essentially six days off for the Christmas holiday. But, uh, like, I'll be back on December 30th. These aren't even the last streams of the year. So, uh, no, no, no. The year's not over yet. Uh, Corbett, thanks for being a 43-monther. Rocket M, thanks for being a 29-monther. Warpipe, thanks for being a 43-monther. Happy holidays, chat. And Kyle, happy holidays. Back at you. Tofu, Shmofu, thanks for being a 22-monther. DXB Lord. Congrats on the year, 12 months. And then Jake Twitchin, thanks for being a 38 month there. Hey, Kyle, what would your foxhound name be? Um, I, I think it would be like, just like, Little problem badger. <laughs> Ninja Kitty Meow, thanks for thank you for being a 19 monther. Little problem badger. Festin, thanks for being a seven monther. Merry Christmas back at you. See you facts. Thank you for gifting 10 gift subs. You were thinking badger too. What's funny is I like I don't earn the badger, so I had to like uh I had to soften the badger side of it. You know what I mean? So by saying little problem badger, you're not expecting too much. Can I get an oh no for falling and breaking my arm just in time for Christmas? That's a no no. Oh no! Think of all the sympathy you'll receive though. But at the same time, think of all the sympathy you'll receive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sympathy isn't fun. You know what? Yeah. I kind of agree with you. I think I like, I like so, the sympathy I kind of like is where it's like, um, no expectation sympathy, but I feel like when you break an arm, people still expect a lot from you. My dad just had shoulder surgery, so his arm sling outshines mine. Damn. And you don't even, still, you don't even get any sympathy out of that. Shit. Story time with Gabe. Thanks for being a 43 month there. So, Earthbound on the docket next year? We'll see. Happy holidays to you, Kyle and chat. The docket submissions are open. If there's an old game, <laughs> meaning from the year 2023 or beyond, or below, uh, that you want me to play. Submit that to the docket. We're going to roll a random wheel. Uh, there's no promise I'll even get to see your submission. Unfortunately, a lot of them are never seen. Um, but it's the only way to make it fair. On January 1st, we go through the submissions. We consider them. We say, is this an old game we should definitely play? Um, docket link. Yeah, I mean, let me pull that up. Um, JT, thanks for being a brand new subscriber. Is there a way to get rid of my submission? I just learned the game is no longer available. Honestly, I think if you make a new submission, it will overwrite the old one. Um, because truly... It's just people on the other side of the docket. There's no machine. <laughs> so if they see if they see two from the same name, they take the newer one. They in this case being screaming Argonaut. Way better than machine. Yeah, I agree. Uh, second world map. Thanks for being a 34 monther. What are your favorite and least favorite Metal Gear Solid games? Um, give me a moment. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm still looking for the actual uh docket submission form. 
We've the thing is we got so much shit going on right now. Um, exciting shit, but uh, there's like ballots and uh docket submission forms. We got it, baby. We got it. We got it. The docket form is in chat. Phew. Did I get Mucho's gift wrapped in under the tree? It's not wrapped, but uh, we'll be uh, unwrapping that tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to require a lot of construction. All right. Uh, DACA submission form. I got it queued up. Let me triple check on this too. Great. Um, but yeah, also another thing I'm really excited about is announcing the nominees for Chat's Stupid Choice Awards. And on top of that, this is what I'm saying, there's so much stuff going on. Uh, we're taking feedback on the Toxic League as we prepare for next league. The, or year. the, uh, the Toxic League, of course, is the uh, inverted uh fantasy critic league where the goal is to create the worst collection of new video game releases possible uh okay let me just say this worst reviewed you know what i mean uh the worst reviewed games are not always the worst games if you catch my drift uh but you're trying to predict what reviewers won't like same on the other side is true Kyle, thanks to this wrestler's promo, I shortened sympathy to simpy. I'm not clicking a wrestler's promo right now. I got so distracted by that. You didn't even explain who the wrestler is. It's seven seconds. Oh, my God. You come out here and try to get the simpy of the people, but you don't get my simpy at all. You come out Okay, no, this is that was actually extremely relevant because we were talking about broken arms, right? And there's somebody, there's somebody, there's somebody who walks in with a sling on, right? But their dad's sling is worse. And the dad says, You walk in trying to get the simpy of my family, but you don't get my simpy at all. It was relevant. It was relevant. <laughs> Dark monkey. Thanks for being a two-monther. Love a two-monther. This stupid sub. Um. All right. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. The talk of submission form. Uh, if you want to submit a game to the docket... And really, just to be clear, this is a random chance. Just to be very clear. You're, you're, to you're tossing a lottery ticket onto the wheel, right? And then the thing is, like, you don't win this lottery. You have the game that you're suggesting open to the intense ridicule of this non-judgmental chat. Um, so... It is meant to be a silly fun, and we ask that you keep this in mind while submitting, right? Uh, the idea of, like, Kyle, I put so much effort into my docket submission. You know what I mean? Like, Kyle, I really, really wanted this. Like, all I can say is, like, please don't, because, like, it's just a, it's just a spin of the wheel. I have no simpy. Yeah. Um, all right, so username, game title, platform we can play it on. And this, I guess this is relevant to the person who said, like, it's not even available anymore. Uh, game length, main plus extra, according to howlongtobeat.com. Include a screenshot so we know what kind of game we're looking at. And then why this will make a good stream. You have 250 characters to explain why the game that you're submitting will make a good stream on this Twitch channel. And uh, we go through each of these. We can look at it. We look at your screenshot. We discuss it. We discuss, uh, I read out your uh, your... You're basically your tweet <laughs> about why the game would make a good for stream. Um, really, really fun stuff. Uh, 
Have I seen the time splitters leak? I saw some stuff. I saw some like uh, environmental stuff. And then Shabello, we, we look at uh, every year, Shabello, we look at the hours I played playing the games on the January 1st stream. That's a January 1st stat. Not a December 22nd stat. Okay. We have 87 submissions. Oh, shit. Really? Why am I even showing this? Like, this doesn't happen. This does, We don't even look at these until the first. I thought we were dying for submissions. <laughs> All right, here's something. <laughs> Why would I think that? I don't know. That was just, I, like, honestly, I think that's just, you know, I, I generally think that, like, people, like, you have to tell them something three times before it sets in, you know? Um, that's really good. 87 submissions of the docket so far is really, really good. Um, all right, now let's talk about chat stupid choice awards. The, uh, the nominees are in. So chat stupid choice awards is another new thing happening on January 1st where while we recap the streams of 2023, um, we also uh, honor the special moments and characters throughout the year of streaming. Um, now, the nominations were held uh, on the Discord. There were a lot of good submissions. And then, of course, I submitted some of my own. <laughs> Chat, look. I'm the only human in the world who's been here for every single one of my streams. Is this forum public? It's going to be within seconds. Yeah. Um, all right. So best party member. Honoring the impactful side buddy who provided valuable support, carried the team themselves, or was just very likable. Here are the nominees. Let me make sure I have that right on this. Hey, uh-uh, get out of that. <laughs> I, all right so this 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 season's backdrop for delayed input is very papery it's really frustrating to me i can't i like ordered the same material and it came out so papery amazon is just such a weird sham these days um it's folded up right now in the corner the backdrop and mucho was just tucking his way in imagine imagine like a cool little uh snowy cave of paper that's what he was about to enter into poor guy like, I can relate. I bet that looked so cool. All right. Best party member. The nominees are. Blade from Marvel's Midnight Suns. Gale from Baldur's Gate 2. Now, the, okay. Already. No, I mean, all right. I'm going to. This is a little bit of editorial. This is kind of like what I like about the best party member category, right? Is that like Gale obviously sucks as a personality, right? but he's great in utility. <laughs> Forrest with two R's, X being a 10-monther. Nearly a full year. Thankful for Kyle and chat. Hope everyone has a ha happy holiday season. Hell yeah. Typo fix now. Oh, I missed it. I missed the typo. Anyway. um, Goo. From Radiata stories, not at all clutch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not talking. About, we're not talking about Baldur's Gate two. We're talking about Baldur's Gate three. Good point. Good point, chat. Hugmaker, the Ursa Luna from Pokemon Violet, and Strong Baby Chow from Sonic Adventure two. Those are the nominees. You have to make your pick. For worst possible moment, I believe there are eight nominees. This had the most. This had the most things to pick from, uh, most suggestions for worst possible moment. This is tough. Wall creep did get snubbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pretty major snub. I think, but like we're talking about 2023, right? And I think it was maybe more of Hugmaker's year than Wall creep's year. Anyway, worst possible moment. Honoring the moment where an unfortunate but probably funny thing happened that we wish we could forget. The nominees are 
Inspector Gadget tricks Kyle into thinking there were two puppy paws. Kyle comes dangerously close to cringing because Shigeru Miyamoto kept missing the spiders in 2010. Kyle self-righteously looks up the definition of twerking and learns that it is, in fact, just for butts. Kyle sets a honeypot for the Mountain Dew Twitch bot and successfully lures it into chat. Kyle shows chat a couple of funny pigs he saw in Germany. Kyle spends a half hour finding Jeff Keighley's Twisted Metal cameo. <laughs> Kyle unwittingly downloads pop-up malware because of a deceitful Bing search. And weeks of technical issues resolved when Kyle reveals his retro tank has been plugged into the Switch the whole time. Those are the nominees for Worst Possible Moment. <laughs> <laughs> Highly competitive category. No saying what's going <laughs> to Can we watch the clips? We will for the ceremony. For the ceremony, we're going to watch the clips. Uh, on your own, yeah. If you, don't, if you don't remember that particular moment, clicking the tiny URL will take you to a clip. You can watch that. But uh, yeah, on stream, I'll, I'm going to save that for uh, January 1st. All right. Next category. The most surprising moment of actual skill. These are honoring one of those rare fleeting moments where Kyle did something cool or impressive. The nominees are Kyle beats the final level of Super Mario Bros. Wonder faster than Damiani. Kyle draws something he vaguely remembers from possibly a 90s Simpsons comic. Wujak looks it up. It's nearly identical. Kyle effortlessly pulls off a high skill skip in Sonic Adventure 2. Kyle gets a perfect in Rhythm Heaven's pig level. And Kyle wins a Fortnite match by shooting a cowardly sword assailant mid dash. Okay, those are the nominees. Tough pick here. Next category favorite baseball team. Oh my god. This is honoring the Super Ultra Baseball Simulator team that won our hearts and loyalty. Seasonal record is not a factor for eligibility. The Beef Studs. The Firm. The Jankers. Laser Kiss. And the Richards. Nobody showed up to nominate the Sensibles. I almost snuck them in because they, they like, you know, they did win, but nobody nominated them. So, uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be tough. That'll be tough. I see some that have no chance. I see, I see some on here that are probably going to get two votes. No, to, nobody stepped up to nominate the Tanukis. It's true. Sensibles don't need it. That's true. And they couldn't even receive the award, you know? <laughs> Best created character. This is the last category. Honoring the outstanding protagonist we named, customized, or simply made our own. Gordius, Baldur's Gate 3. Hunter, Marvel's Midnight Suns. Tiger Shen. Of Jade Empire. Vach of Street Fighter 6. Worm Boy, Pokemon Violet. Now, again, Worm Boy technically started last year, but he had a good year this year as well. No Game Jam characters are allowed. No, they already get their awards. I, I had to keep that separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, they would just sweep it, you know? Um,. Gabe Logan is a really interesting nomination. <laughs> we kind of did let Gabe Logan become our own character this year. I would have allowed it. I would have allowed it. 
Yeah, they announced an epilogue for uh, Pokemon Violet on January 11th, which is really soon. So yeah, we'll be streaming that. Okay, that's it. That's the ballot. That's the, the nominees for Chat Stupid Choice Awards. The URL is now in chat. Since you're playing MG MGS and it's Christmas time, would I be willing to play this clip of Cam Clark giving holiday greetings as Liquid Snake over other characters' voices? It's 40 seconds. You're winning me with these time limits, chat. And I got I think there were some subs and resubs I missed anyway. So yeah, let's click on this. The one that made me nervous was I was nervous it was going to be that um David Hayter and Cam Clark singing Mr. Grinch. That I don't think I could stomach. Liquid Snake here, wanting to remind you that there is still time for you to send out your Metal Gear holiday greetings by yours truly, Liquid Snake. <laughs> this is an ad for his cameo? Okay. <laughs> hey, and this is Leonardo. You can also get me from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because I'd love to wish you a Calabunga Christmas. And don't forget about me. <laughs> it's Cam here. Hope everybody has a great holiday. And if you want to hear something just from me, just ask. Okay, happy holidays, everybody. From Cam, Liquid, and Leonardo. That dog, that, chat, that dog that's like the Three Musketeers dog is there. You remember you showed me that video where it's like, three, two, one, one, two, three, woof. That dog's there, bro. Uh, chat, if we had a, if we had a chat stupid choice awards for like worst links, worst URLs pasted into chat. <laughs> that, that one would be up there. Captain Raw, thank you for being a 43 monther. Happy holidays, Kyle and Mucho and Chad. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Pud Muddle, I think I missed you. Uh, thanks for being a 16 monther. Got Simpy? No. No, no, no. And Alien Fox, thanks for being a 19 monther. Certainly not, no. Okay, we should, um, we should, uh, boot up the game. Oh, reminder, you were asked about your favorite Metal Gear Solids. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, number 1. Metal Gear Solid... Twin Snakes last. Spoiler policy today. Um, all right. So typically I like to, even if like it's a game I've already played before, I like to play along. I like to do this thing where people can't talk about something that's already happened. However, in this case, when we are like analyzing shit, I'm going to have questions. And so I think spoilers are on the table today. When I'm saying like, wait, what is this person doing at this time? What is that person doing at that time? I think I would want answers. So uh, I think spoilers are okay considering this game is nearly retro. It's almost retro. Uh, Burger Shot, thanks for being a 35-monther. And Drangly, thanks for being a 43-monther. Can I get an OEA oh for finally upgrading from the PC I built in 2015? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Metal Gear Solid 1 and all of Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Are you okay with chat pointing out hidden calls? Yeah, I would love to do stuff like that. And in fact, uh, 
oops, uh, grab a, grab a candy bar, grab a granola bar. One thing I really want to do is watch all of the lore. I want to watch the entire preamble. You know where there's like blonde salad snake sitting on a, a hospital bed or something like that? I don't think I've ever watched all of that. And my memory is I think I tried to convince Easy Allies to do it for Easy Living and it was like, no, 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 we're not doing that. Um, That's my memory. Right? We didn't do it with Easy Allies, correct? Dark Forest 6 being a 43-monther. Ah, D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? <laughs> uh, can I get... No, no. I'm currently going through the original Final Fantasy VII in my full series replay, and I'm about to enter City of the Ancients. We live in a seashell. Um, uh, yeah. No, no. There's a hidden briefing tape. Exit the briefing menu after you play the first tape. That is so cool. Ooh, circle to confirm. Very classy. We did spend a lot of time calling Nastasha. I do remember that. Master book. Screenplay book. What is this shit? This can't be right. Is this real? Holy shit. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. I had no idea. Wow. That's really, really cool. All right, so we got Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid VR missions, we got Metal Gear Solid uh, Special Missions, and we got Metal Gear Solid Integral. Integral, some would say. Originally released in 1999. Bit loud. English audio only, Japanese and English subtitles, difficulty settings, and a VR disc. What's the advantage of doing this one? Play B, thanks for being a seven-monther. Do I want to know the order of the tapes? Absolutely, yes. Confused Shy Guy, thanks for being a 41-monther. Happy holidays, good people. Has the pig tree ornament arrived yet? Oh my god. I got a message Monday night. I haven't had this happen on Amazon before. The seller was like, uh... Hey, I'm so sorry. I don't have it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't have this. I can't send it to you. I'm going to refund you. So we got to figure out another fun thing to do with $10 on Amazon. <laughs> Did I explain about the vote? It didn't matter. It didn't matter to him. So yeah, we gotta find it. We'll find another fun way to spend 10 bucks, chat. Chat bought them all. I want, well, the thing is it said one left, right? And I feel like maybe that's just what sellers do and they're like, I'll track it down. I'll find it. I'll find it. Um, so it sounds like we're doing integral. Yeah? All right. You would do original. Why? It changes the censored butts to underwear. I just want to know what mainly it changes. The item descriptions are in Japanese. Copy that. <laughs> this is the shit. Right here. This is why we're playing the... Master Collection version. 
Look at this. This will make sense later. <laughs> but you're allowed to make dummy data for all of these Konami games. Poi Poi? God, that's so funny. I've actually played Poi Poi. <laughs> Alright, here's the actual changes. Thank you for the information. A sneaking suit for Meryl is made available on a third playthrough. That's extremely cool. Very easy difficulty is added. Uh, there's two new codec frequencies, one with developer commentary and another with hidden music tracks. That's so cool. Ability to play in first person. Wow. Known as 1P view mode is unlocked on completion of alternate patrol routes for enemies on second or further playthroughs. How good is uh, the first person mode? How good is it? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure every time I played the game, maybe this didn't happen during our Easy Allies playthrough, but every time I played the game, my memory was completely clean. I remember it being janky as hell on PS1. Okay, all right. We're doing it. We're doing original. Developer commentary sounds so cool. I don't think that would be... in English. Just show me... Just show me Meryl's sneaking suit. Is it cool? Is it like snakes? I played that version. I remember it just being Japanese text. Ooh, I gotta jack this back up. Holy shit. Yeah, I love that too. Ominous. Let me know about volume, though. I, I turned it up a lot then. This looks. Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces, being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. Chat warned me about the audio quality. Nah, I was warned. That sounded like shit. I think we gotta boot up the PS3. Yeah, let me make sure that I got the update on it. Let me let me triple make sure. That's that sounds so bad. Latest version. Wow. You think it's cuz it's a previous video and you're saying that in game it won't sound that bad? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Kew, 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 kew. 
Steam has the update now. Consoles get it early January. Got it. It's been a long time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. This looks cool as shit. You will take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff and an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry, this injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen Spoilers up. on? It all went Snake just got five fucked. Hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island. A remote island Spoilers on, that shot Alaska. was super important. <laughs> what soldiers? Next generation special forces led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. <laughs> They're both being held as hostages. I love this shit. Those are some heavy duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. All right, so now we exit. Shit. Colonel, I don't work for the government anymore. Let me I tried. I tried. <laughs> I pressed the X button, which apparently means press the next video now. Circle for confirm. Look at the bottom of your damn screen. It says circle for confirm. X for back. Oh my gosh. I feel so cheated, bro. Whoops. Go back to Twin Lake. Too late. It's gone. What happened? I'm not sure. We like missed some cool secret tape. There's a secret tape that happens uh, for some reason. If you do mission description, go to exit and then come back. It's cool to see that picture of Big Boss. All right, so chat, sorry, there's still there's still some prep to do. The reason I'm not like resetting the screen or anything is I'm not fully committed to uh, uh, this version of the game yet. Um, I think I want to stu I want to boot up the game and see how the audio sounds before we before we even commit. Before I'm like, okay, let me get my like layout set up. Let me get all that set up. Let me uh, let me boot up the game. I was shocked by how bad it sounded.
This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. I think this is acceptably codec, bad. Push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. <laughs> no one but you will be able to hear it. That shit is Got so it. cool. Okay, I'm ready to go. These fucking opening credits. <laughs> yeah, I'm just testing the audio. I'm just testing out the audio. Uh, choke range is tight, huh? First one, it was like, you're too far away, player. And then the second one was like, uh, too close, obviously. All right. Uh, Snake's hitbox actually slides forward when you grab throw guards before. So if you were too close, you get an alert since you go into their vision cone. Damn. Yeah, that guy did that. It was nasty. He was like just out of grab range, and then I walked forward a little bit. He's like, I see you. Um, let's, uh, let's check the audio. I'm Chad, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to go boot up the PS3 and actually see if it sounds different. I'm willing to do that today. All right, so let me grab a... Actually, you know what? We can, while I set every, everything up, we can watch another one of those uh, things. So let's go back to reset game. Oh, we're back? Okay, I guess it looks like we're back. That was a weird one. Somebody says, try disabling 3D audio in the PS5 settings. It can muffle the audio sometimes? Chad, I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Is there anybody online that's saying that's the way to fix the audio in Metal Gear Solid? Switch version has the same audio quality. Yeah, I'll check. I'll check, I'll check. I actually don't think I even have that on. Oh, I do, look at that. All right, so let's, uh, let me boot up another one of these. The audio is a known issue with the MC. That's what we're saying. Yeah. All right, once this thing again. It's been a long time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. Up, That's man. no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? 
That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff, and an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry, this injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. I can't, uh... A nuclear weapon? I can't deal with internet so. issues and audio issues see, in the, the same stream. The site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? So, uh, we're just sticking with this, this PS5 the version. Is. You'll have two I mission objectives. Bro. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson. I'm gonna let these speakers hiss. And the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. They're both being held as hostages. Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists. Ah, uh, no, they really does sound like shit. <laughs> Fuck. Stop them if they do. <laughs> They're so hissy, Any man. Snake? They're so Any hissy. Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. How well, you, you can make up your mind like after you hear more about the situation. How you gonna do that? Just like my PS3 shit is all over the place. Cause now I would use the retro tank out of the PS3. Okay, here's the secret tape. Colonel, I don't work for the government anymore. Let me go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is your life in Alaska all that great? There's a dog sled race this week. Next Saturday, I have to be in Anchorage. Get dinner rod? The longest sled race in the world? When did you become a dog musher? Right now, my 50 huskies are my only family. <laughs> I gotta take care of them. Don't worry about your dogs. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm sorry, Snake, but this vessel is headed for the Bering Sea. There's no room for debate. I told you. Even if I do owe you, I don't owe anything to this army or this country. You will accept this assignment. Why should I be stupid enough to do that? I'm no patriot. Snake, there's enough dirt in your file from your days as an agent to keep you in the stockade until you're a very old man. Oh, Damn. I see. Blackmail. No, Snake. I prefer to look at it as helping you come to a decision more easily. But anyway, I know you better than that. You take this assignment even without the threat. Why do you say that? You're a natural born soldier. You're not the grow old gracefully type. It's the same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. <laughs> I'm a soldier too. I know those feelings of powerlessness, frustration that you feel every day. You've tried to play the boy scout out there in Alaska, but you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why don't you come back to us? and be a soldier again. You think my life is some kind of a joke? Snake, I just want to give you back your purpose in life. I don't remember Colonel sounding this gravelly. Um, Hip Hop the Robot, thanks for being a 38 monther. Chat, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. I'll, all I need for you is to say, I fucking promise, okay? Promise me I download the PC version 
The audio doesn't sound like that. We're talking about the Master Collection. I go to Steam right now. I go to Steam right now. I download Master Collection for on Steam. Promise me it won't sound like poppy and crackly like that. Because I don't buy it. I played it this afternoon. It was crystal clear. Cast no. I'm looking for one specific phrase. Shaq Soda. I'm so hyped for the stream too. It's fucking killing me. One, the internet's going out. Two, the audio is just so fucked. I just want to start this game. You know what I mean? I promise. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's get this. Let's get it. So the problem is, honestly, I could set up a stream on PC way faster than I can with the big boy PS3. I have no idea where the charge cable is. I have no idea where the video cables are. Um, It's going to like take me a sec to set up the PS3. What exactly is the audio issue on PS5? So that's, that's also kind of why, why I just want to boot up the PS5 version. To see the difference, to hear the difference, excuse me. Maybe it's not as bad as it, like, maybe that's just, you know, it's a PS1 game, I have to be more understanding. So, uh, let's, uh, let's try it all. Let's try it all. Let's try it all. Let's boot up native PlayStation 1 version on the old PS3. I'm so sorry, brother. <laughs> Mucho was just about to come hang out, and then I just thought I'd shove my chair Crazy to me you bought the collection instead of just playing on PS3. Well, PS1 is the only worse version. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. We're talking definitive, okay? But also, uh, I really like the idea of making a memory card. That's stuff I've never seen before. All right, we got one important thing. We got two important things. One more important thing, and we're golden. The important thing is the PlayStation 3 power cable. Three hours late. I know, Chad. I know. Uh, Zyla Wolf fan. Thanks for being a forty-three a month. There. We're we're just gonna we're just gonna give this a shot. We're gonna sample. I know. I know. I know. I feel it too. I too have feelings about this. But you know what? You know what? We won't be able to stop. Is people like, well, why don't you just get the Steam version? You know what I mean? There's nothing we can do to stop that comment other than boot up this version. I have I have no idea why you just didn't why didn't you just plug in your PS3 in the first you know what I mean? We're gonna have to hear that comment all day. Regardless. So now we're just gonna do it. So we don't have to see that comment anymore. You know what I'm saying? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> you know what I would have done? I have a PS1 original. I would have just plugged in my PS1. I know. I know that's what you would have done.
I know it. So it's definitely not in there. We can rule that out. I'm looking for I'm looking for a little uh, three pronger. Uh, regarding the master collection on PC, they said the audio settings have been added. Nothing about quality. People have said there's a way to fix crackling, but I think that's different from compression. It absolutely is. What do they mean there's a way to fix crackling? What do they mean by that? You got a patch in a crackle fix? This is driving me crazy. Why wouldn't I have the charge for the PS3, Mooch? When was the last time we played a PlayStation 3 game? Do you remember? And why is it so far away from all my other PS3 stuff? That's the other half of the question. Where do you think that went? <laughs> Where do you think that ended up? I got one more idea. Maybe We got it. 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 Three pronger. Three pronger. Okay. There we go. You fucking PlayStation 3. We got it. We got it. We got it. Great. Now we do this into the old retro tank. We're doing great. Uh huh. You think? I mean, we were hearing the crackling. The crackling was evident. We heard that shit. This game deserves to be in IGN's top ten most disappointing things of twenty twenty three. <laughs> okay, and then that. Retro tank gets plugged into the PC respectfully. We grab the HDMI cable, put you in there. This is not guaranteed to start because of PS3 settings. You kind of like the crackling? I can get that too. Okay, we're gonna move this aside. Okay. Get in there. Side views. Great. That's excellent. That's excellent. PS3 looks good right now. Oink. Oink. Four. Great. Alrighty. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. USB is only in the front of this version of the PlayStation 3. That's unfortunate. Mucho is getting his gift tomorrow. No, 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 no. He doesn't get shit at midnight tonight. MGS1 on PS3? Maybe. Potentially. Here's what we're going to find out. We're gonna find out if the audio on the port is shit or if it's always been shit.
Secrets revealed. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Uh-oh. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, my God. My PS3 is updating. Okay. Who knew? Who knew they were still putting out patches for this big bad boy? Who knew? Okay. So yeah, we're uh, we're booting up the PS3. I chat, here's the funny thing. I'm not positive I have Metal Gear Solid on this. True Pupper Co. has an oh yeah, and I feel like I missed an oh no forever ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I've not been monitoring chat as I've been trying to get this shit together. Uh, Xyla Wolfbane, thanks for being a 43 monther, by the way. Today we learned if Metal Gear Solid is truly better than Siphon Filter. Yeah, today is the day we learn. Now with uh, clear eyes. Sorry, chat. Still updating. Check this shit out. This is the PlayStation 3 updating. <laughs> this emulates Christmas so well. You're so right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stress, the dysfunction, the internet going out, <laughs> the Metal Gear Solid, the chat, the cat. Mucho was trying to help, to his credit. He was trying to help that whole time. Okay. Stand by, chat. Stand by. Uh, I mean, actually, you can participate in this part. No, no, no. What I want to make sure is that this is actually, like, set to HD mode first. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's, like, 720p right now. It is indeed 720p. Component 1080p, bro. What are you thinking? The retro tank doesn't like 1080p. Fine. Okay, 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 okay. Shit. The retro tank doesn't like that shit, but it could, but it could, but it could, right? It doesn't like that now, but it could if I had the controller nearby and I'd be like, Retro Tank, shut up. You love 1080p. Toot, 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 toot. All right, we're just going to be 720p. Not going to fucking matter for Metal Gear Solid. Okay, here we go. We're back in here. Linkensky, thanks for being a 34 month or Wow, Kyle. You can't just play Metal Gear Solid all of a sudden. This game is a big deal. Good point. All right. Do we have Metal Gear Solid on the old hard drive? Oh, we fucking do. Ooh, baby. I'd rather 720p than 1080i. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, get your ears ready. Perk them up. Perk them up. This is the test. So if this works out, if this is the real audio, this is the version we will be playing. And I'll get I'll get all this. My desk is a fucking mess right now, too. No, I don't have Suicoden <laughs> on my memory card. I have zero Konami games. Ew. Thank you for gifting that gift sub. Ooh. Is it four by three? It's 16 by nine, but I'm squishing it. All right, perk up your ears.
nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces. I'm mad. Led by members of Foxhound. It's good. That's the they're shit. Demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. And they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson. It's pretty turned and up, the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then we'll launch a one-man SDV. <laughs> After the <laughs> gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. I love I the way the inside of that submarine looks. Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis with his powerful psychic abilities. Holy shit. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Beautiful and Decoy deadly. Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. <laughs> giant and, and shaman. Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. <laughs> this is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. OSP, baby. Make it a game. The man bear dog, thanks for being a 26 month or what's the insertion method doesn't come up in a lot of games. Why is that? All right, so let me, um, let me very quickly chat. This is it. This is the version we'll be playing tonight. Um, even in those audio logs, it's not even like audio quality, but it, like you can hear it like clip out. You know what I mean? You could hear it stutter. This is final. Um, so let me uh, let me clean up my workspace for a moment. Apologies for this. Basically, I have to replug in the PS5 to tell it we're not playing it anymore tonight. Okay. So uh, I don't know. It's a weird thing, Chad. I feel like. Uh kind of cool fact about the ps1 right is that people would buy that as a cd player the playstation one used to have ridiculously good audio quality uh i kind of feel like that's like uh not as much of a factor or like important feature anymore it's insane to me that the metal gear solid collection would be released as it is with audio sounding that way Do I have bad ears if I can't tell the difference in sound? I, and I think that's exactly it, Peapod. I think that, like, look, I don't have good ears. I'm not, like, particularly sensitive to audio. I don't know my shit about audio, right? But to me, maybe, like, uh, the crackling itself is what bothered me so much. But, uh, yeah, that to me was, like, unacceptable. On one of my favorite games... Perhaps my favorite game of all time? Crackling audio? Come on now. We haven't the time or patience for that. Oh my gosh. You poor cat. I know. I know it's been a weird day for you. I know it, pal. I know it. 
And <laughs> the PS3 is so fucking noisy too. Even just running a PS1 game. So I just gotta like tuck it away from the microphone. That should have that should have done it though. Why we got a blue screen? There we go. Holy shit. What if it's like Skyward Sword? There's been a few games. I'm not ruling out the possibility. We'll launch a one-man SDV. There's been a few games that have been absolute bona fide classics where I'm like, this is one of my favorite games ever. Mega Man Legends 2. Where we go back and it's actually kind of shit. It's happened. That's like what I'm looking for is a big bright screen to adjust the uh Camera on. Guess I guess this will do it. Do they always cut off the um the top? Kind of quiet again. Give me a second. <laughs> am I doing audio or am I doing the the, the camera settings? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I think we got I think we got a ledge there. Okay. And I yeah, I think uh I think we'll cut off the top there. I think we'll do that. Shit. I need I need an edge. I right, give me an edge. No, that's not reliable. There we go. And then you can see I fucked the edge on the left side. So we'll get that a little better. Yeah, look at that big boss portrait, dude. I don't know if they use that at any point in the game. Come on now. I guess that is as I guess that is as good as that gets. Okay. And then what? I think the top of that's okay. Hard to say, bro. Let me go back. Can I get no? Yeah, my wife and I are moving wife. to our respective apartments tomorrow from no lease to moved in in just six days. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Oh, yeah. Now I just have to trick the cats into the carrier. Oh, that's not easy. Yeah, there we go. So the top's good. Without alerting the other one that it's carrier time. They're going to be happy. The cats, it's going to take a, it's going to take a minute for the cats to get into the new place. Okay. Can I get an Oya? I just pulled three full art cards. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. What other Oya's and Ono's did I miss? I'm here for you now, chat. I'm here for you now. We got the game booted up. We are unfortunately once more going to skip the videos that give us all the background lore. I simply have no patience for them at this time. <laughs> I simply, I, I, we can't do it. I can't do all the briefings. It's, it's 531. I haven't choked out one security guard. 
Can I get no no for my broken washing machine saga? We've almost sunk into the cost of a new washer. Lots of weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sucks. Oops. Stand by. Stand by. No, no. So I accidentally clip, clipped uh, Oh Yeah. And I had this panic moment. I clicked Oh Yeah for the broken washing machine, right? And um, I almost... What's under special? Previous operations. It turns out if you don't release the button and press other buttons while you have the button held down, you won't hear the oh no. Oh yeah, you know what? I think even as a kid, I was reading this shit. So, uh, 1998, I am a 12-year-old child. Very slightly to the left. You're right. There's a little bit of hoodie sneaking out. Yeah, for some reason, this is in, like, it's in a really weird scaling mode that I don't like a lot. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Is it because of this thing? No. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, reset that. There we go. Okay. Fuck, but all right. Western nations. Look who decided to join us. Look who decided to show up just in time for Mucho Cam. You want to come in closer? Yeah, I pushed I pushed that aside because I was looking through all those cables. Come on over. There you go, buddy. Nice and snug little Mucci. Great. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. The stream is about to begin. Holy cow. Chad, thank you for your patience. I know this shit's not easy for you to... Oh my gosh. Mucho, you're a bit blown out, bro. <laughs> What's going on with that? I see a little wolvie down there. <laughs> um, no. And then where's the fucking exposure, bro? You're not, you're not doing it right. Fucking cat. <laughs> uh, what's happening here? No, I need exposure, bro. It's way, way too bright. That's like broken. Yeah, my exposure is broken. I like, can't change it. <sighs> yeah, that's a weird thing that's never been broken before. The exposure on the webcam is broken. How about this shit? Yeah, and the gain too. Weird. There's my moochie cat. All right, all right, all right, all right. There we go, there we go, there we go. Perfect, uh-huh. Get me that. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was a weird bug. There's my mooch. How long can he avoid the temptation of clawing that Wolverine? <laughs> can we switch game and moocho? Afraid not. <laughs> Shit, dude. All right. Okay. Actually, I mean, let's learn. How many of you know what happens during the events of Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake? 1999. The world was facing the, an energy crisis. It was obvious that the supply of the petroleum would run out faster than expected. However, the development of an alternate energy source is far from completion. The price of petroleum has skyrocketed, and the world economy is in confusion. The 21st century was exposed. Excuse me, it was expected to be one of chaos. One man's invention changed the entire situation. A Czech genius and biologist, Dr. Keo Marv, invented... 
Oilix, a microorganism that refines petroleum to produce a highly purified form of petroleum. The world was filled with hope upon the discovery of this messiah to solve the energy crisis. But at the same time, the world entered a time of tension regarding this new algae. Just when the world's attention was drawn to Oilix and Dr. Marv, he gets abducted by someone and disappears. Nations begin investigations immediately, and a name soon appeared. Zanzibar Land. That will be referenced. Rockman Bionics, thank you for gifting that gift sub to Oilix. <laughs> Zanzibar Land was a demo democratic military regime that suddenly appeared in Central Asia in 1997. When their uprising took place, the CIS army formed around Russia sends a suppressive unit immediately. Zanzibar land resists by gathering a band of mercenaries from nations around the world and fortifying most of its land. As a result, the CIS army <laughs> was repeatedly defeated and Zanzibar land declared its independence. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> Due to active role mercenaries played, this war was called the Mercenary War, and Zanzibar land was referred to as an armed fortress nation, a military nation with a group of strong mer mercenaries surrounded by a tough fortress. Mm, sound familiar? According to the latest information, Zanzibar supposedly is armed with nuclear weapons. The whole scenario is crystal clear. By obtaining Oilix in addition to nuclear weapons, Zanzibar land was trying to establish its economic and military superiority over the entire world. Concerned about the situation in the United States, orders Roy Campbell. Am I going to quiz you on the lore? It will be important. Some of this will be important, actually. Commander-in-chief of the high-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound to rescue Dr. Marv. Campbell was a former member of Foxhound. He brought back Solid Snake, the man who single-handedly brought down the armed forces nation, armed fortress nation of Outer Heaven four years ago, and asks him to win back both Dr. Marv and Oilix. Oilix will never be brought up ever again. Ignore that part. Successfully infiltrating Zanzibar land, and with the help of the CIA agent Hori and others, Snake is able to go deep into the fortress and meet again with Dr. Petrovich, the chief engineer of Metal Gear at Outer Heaven. He too was abducted at to Zanzibar land and was forced to develop another Metal Gear. He tells the surprise Snake of an even more shocking fact. Big Boss, the man Snake had defeated in Outer Heaven, turned out to be the general commander of Zanzibar land. Snake rescues Dr. Petrovich in cooperation with Natasha. Not Nastasha, actually a different character. Dr. Marv's guard and former Czech international security police agent, and then heads for the confinement facility deep in the fortress to save Dr. Marv. When Petrovich and Natasha cross the narrow suspension bridge over the deep valley, a missile blew the bridge away? Sound familiar? Natasha flies into the air because of the explosion. While unable to do anything to save Natasha, Snake starts hearing a well-known voice. Hey, Snake, we are good buddies. Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? My big buddy button was broken. I pressed it four times. <laughs> I can let you go. Just let me leave this place at once. It was Gray Fox. Snake sees Gray Fox controlling Metal Gear. The best soldier in Foxhound who, after the fall of Outer Heaven, disappeared as if he's followed Big Boss. Losing Natasha in front of his eyes and letting Petrovich being taken away, Snake screams, Fox! I will not give up! After a series of deadly battles with mercenaries, Snake finally gets to Dr. Marv's confinement facility. However, when he arrives, he is too late. He sees Dr. Marv's corpse and Petrovich who could do nothing but just stand there, 
Petrovich tells Snake that Dr. Marv could not withstand the repeated tortures because of heart problems. Damn. Snake then receives an emergency call from Hori. The information she supplied was very shocking, so Petrovich has been voluntarily visiting Zanzibar land to develop Metal Gear. The abduction of Dr. Marv was conducted under the directions of Petrovich himself. After the truth comes out, Petrovich attacks Snake, but Snake easily puts an end to him and obtains the structural plan of Oilix. While trying to escape, Snake is confronted by Metal Gear again, controlled by Gray Fox, of course. The tremendous battle takes place in the underground base, and Snake finally succeeds in destroying Metal Gear. However, Gray Fox does not submit and challenges Snake to the final battle. In the midst of, the, of a minefield, Snake and Fox fight. This is important. Without any weapons. A fist-to-fist -fist duel involving no hatred or murder intent. During that weird moment of purity, the two are bound in forces transcending words and emotion. Snake wins the tough but pure battle against Gray Fox. However, there still was someone else Snake had to fight. Big Boss. Just like four years ago at Outer Heaven, Big Boss was waiting for Snake. One who has experienced the tension of battle can never leave the battlefield. I am the one giving you something to live for, and that is war. Snake is infuriated at the arrogant Big Boss. There is only one battle I have to fight. To free myself from you. To shatter the nightmare. Big Boss, I will kill you! With the structural plan of Oilix, Snake and Hori escape from Zanzibar land on a rescue helicopter. Snake once again saves the world. However, there is no smile on his face. Big Boss's last words keep ringing in Snake's head. Whichever wins, our battle does not end. The loser is freed from the battlefield, but the winner must remain there, and the survivor must live his life as a warrior until he dies. Snake then disappears into the white lands of Alaska, alone. Previously on Metal Gear. Cool. All right, let's do this. Let's play it. And then he gets 50 huskies. <laughs> All I have are my dogs. <laughs> yeah, right, bro. 50? Come on now. Come on now. Um, We're not going to do all the tapes, unfortunately. We're way too behind schedule. So much deposition. Crazy I beat this game not knowing a word of English as a kid. Still somehow got the story. That's incredible, actually. How's audio for you? Picture is dark? No, that's right, baby. Stay alert. It'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swat down a couple of bombers and flies. That's correct. So cool. Same here in Italy. No localization made you man up. <laughs> this is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Ooh, hell yeah. Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. The I've audio. taken the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the Sorry codec, about the Windows boots. push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. <laughs> that shit is so cool. <laughs> it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. 
<laughs> this is a funny comment from chat. Loud and clear. Is this a PS3? <laughs> um, how do I turn on on a PS3? How do I tell that I want to use the analog sticks? Uh, controller settings. Analog mode. Oh yeah, baby. How cool is this shit? Oh my god. Credits as you start playing, so classy. Unseen. Someone was asking my history of this game. Uh... First exposure was EGM cover. It's primarily white. I think it's like Snake like jumping at one of these guards or something. Uh, just reading about it in magazines is my first exposure to the game. I think I got it for Christmas that year, 98. Never recovered. Oh my god. Yeah, so chat's saying like, hey, it seems dark, but also brings up it's not like crushed blacks, right? Like this is uh, Alan Wake style music by Tappy. So, okay, all right, what's the actual strat then? How do you sneak up up on a guy? He'll hear my footprints. He'll hear you in the puddle, too. That shit splashes. No, he won't. Okay. Let's go for it. Shit, the puddle. Now we got a third, but the elevator is down. Yeah, these are these are like some nice shots too. This guy's fucking doomed. We're gonna kill this guy. I'm beside myself, bro. I, I miss my grab. I move forward a little bit. He's like, gotcha. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the range. <laughs> I think you just got to get close. We got it. Uh, I guess we could use our ration, right? Cool. Wow, this music is so good! Holy shit! It's a really nice starting environment. Something I think is beautiful is the railings. I guess just giving you a sense of like the confinement here. You know what I mean? There is a ceiling. Yeah, those foreground railings are really nice. Should we call Nastasha? I don't think we've been introduced yet. Excellent question. What's her number? <laughs> oh, they won't let me call anyone. Snake, don't forget this is a covert operation. Maybe, let me now try. Let me try. Let me try one more time. Only one of you. If you're spotted, you'll be surrounded before you know it. If that happens, you're finished. First, go to the elevator in the back, 
take it up to the ground floor. Then look for the DARPA chief. Here we go, here we go. 5 2? Yeah, we can't talk to her yet. No response. She won't pick up. <laughs> Funny they don't have to put a ceiling there It was if it wasn't for a first-person mode. Yeah, exactly. And there isn't first-person, right? There's only your camera. No camera at this point. Only that scope. Yeah. Insane detail. Triangle is first-person? Oh, shit. Okay. Let me get back on that. I'll be pressing that a lot more, chat. Yeah, you know what? I think I played the demo a lot, too. Yoji Shinkawa, there it is. I remember reading about the demo distinctly, the words in the uh, write-up in that EGM. R what I remember most distinctly is they're talking about how crazy it felt that the DualShock was rumbling during the heart attack scene. It fucking blew them away. Ah, look at these shots, though. Kojima wanted that roof. Mm. 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 That's a title reveal. Holy shit. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. Chat, you know why? It's tied to the face reveal. He took the scuba gear off. We're in. This is so big budget. I can't believe this shit. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent Snake. It's like five years ahead of like every other game out there at this point. How's that sneaking suit working out? Yes, including Half Life. A little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. Anti-freezing peptide, bro. Tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Behind D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. God, the detailing on these models is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, this is five years ahead of Ocarina of Time. Zelda's still catching up to this shit. They have no idea how to direct a cutscene. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I have oh, sorry. <laughs> this is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as Oops. a visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. <laughs> no, I'm... Well, I know I won't be bored You're fucking for the cute. next hours. <laughs> Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. 
But first, let me explain about your solar town radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. <laughs> First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. I don't realize the Colonel voice actor goes so hard in this game. He's so gravelly. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information Love or advice. Shit. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Makes this shit, this, this mission feels alive. The game feels alive. My frequency is 140.9. You can buy in. It's this is all happening tonight. For saving data. Don't forget it. This is all live. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you. He but never I did does that strip search. Out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes. <laughs> How are those going to help you? You never know. <laughs> He fucking stashed some cigarettes in his like goopy non-acidic stomach. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. Love this shit. Uh, you don't really get this many. This is this is a really clear like. There's two paths. This doesn't happen too much throughout the course the of the game. Duct near the door. There should also be a duct on the second floor. Your choice. I can't see it from here. Wow, I love this shit. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm <laughs> counting on you, Snake. I love the military speech. All right, Mooney Art, thanks for being a three-monther. They re-recorded the VO for Twin Snakes, and everybody sounds less excited. The drama takes a significant hit. Another reason the remake is a letdown. Yeah, I, I think the Colonel mellows out. I didn't remember him being this intense. Um... Let me know if I missed any other subs and resubs. A oh, Rockman Bionics gifted that gift sub to a high D. I saw somebody saying that like CRTs uh, blended out the pixels more, which was like, I mean, like kinda, but also I think like, you know, like the jaggediness of this font and the icons was always just kind of angular. Even on your CRT, where it says zoom level 100, right? That was always angular. That's just kind of how this game looks. Yeah, triangle's a good invert. Feel yourself in the environment. So cool. Ooh. How do I do that? You got it. I think there's a chaff grenade in here. It'll come in handy later. A surveillance camera? A surveillance camera? <laughs> Colonel. You didn't tell me about surveillance cameras. Watch out for that surveillance camera. <laughs> you can probably jam it temporarily with your chaff. I don't have chaff yet, boss.
Ooh. Can we successfully go left here without that camera going off? Nah, you need chaff, bro. Damn. Chaff is in the middle of the helipad. Copy that. With your chaff. tip chat okay so what are the two advantages that you should be able to call Nastasha now all right let's get her a call this is Nastasha Romanenko a pleasure to work with you solid snake you're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Same here, Snake. That's a chaff grenade. It's a special grenade that disperses thin, narrow metallic strips of various lengths and frequency responses. <laughs> it can confuse electronic equipment. Cool. It will be useful against machines which depend upon electronic sensors. Naturally, for it to be effective, you must use it before you are attacked. If you are expecting an attack, spread the chaff beforehand. Good tip. Psyduck Mantis, thanks for being a brand new subscriber and then stupidly epic. Thanks for being a 36 month or congrats on three years. Happy Friday back at you. When was my last Metal Gear Solid playthrough? It was with Easy Allies. So it was during um, Easy Living when we're all just in a, a little beach house together. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shiado Moses Island was built at the beginning of this century. It was made only to temporarily store the nuclear warheads. Why? If they wanted to dispose of them, why wouldn't they just dismantle them right away? They cannot do that. You see, when you dismantle a warhead, you still have nuclear materials that must be stored. At this point, all of the nuclear material storage facilities are way past capacity. But they could not stop dismantling weapons while at the same time pushing START 2. So you're telling me that this base was built so they could temporarily avoid being in conflict with Stark 2? Most people think that we live in a safer world now. But with all the dismantled nuclear weapons and waste around, the threat of nuclear terrorism has increased tremendously. It's ironic, isn't it? Um, something I fucking love about this, uh, is that there's so much, like, real fact and absolute made up bullshit so intertwined like excellent research mixed with the goofiest possible sci-fi and it really fucked me up as a kid 2018 so it's been five years since i played this mailing's voice actor kim my guest also voiced leon in siphon filter that's crazy. Like they skimmed Wikipedia and that's it? Nah, this is all books. This is all Kojima's books. After the START II Accord was signed on January 3rd, 1993, 
Russia and the U.S. reduced their strategic nuclear warheads to between 3,000 and 3,500 warheads. <laughs> Carta, Eddie nephew, they thanks for being an 11 month They dismantled all of the ICBMs, which contained MIRVs. As a result of that, there are over 15,000 Dr. Merv. nuclear warheads waiting to be disposed of. <laughs> Someone was saying earlier that Nastasha was like, in, at first, like a bigger part of the story. And right now in the game, she's entirely optional. You can go through this entire game never talking to her. Love that. The warheads are supposed to be dismantled at Pantex or some other dismantling facility, but there are limits to how many warheads they can process. We just do not have the capabilities to dismantle all the warheads that are out there. Yeah, right? So, like, the DARPA chief, DARPA is real, but arms tech is absolutely fake, right? Our two main goals right now are find, find the DARPA chief. Let's, oh, okay, whoa. And then arms tech president, Kenneth Baker. <laughs> over 200 tons of plutonium and over 1,000 tons of high-grade uranium have been removed from nuclear weapons so far. And on top of that, nuclear reactors all over the world continue to produce and leak spent nuclear fuel. According to one estimate, as of the year 2005, America alone was storing over 50,000 tons of nuclear material. There is no Wait, what time is this game? Our nuclear material storage sites. That is why we need nuclear weapon disposal facilities. What year is it in this game? It is 2005. Got it. Motosada Mori is credited on every game in the series as military advisor. After the START II accord was signed on January 3rd, 1993, Nastasha, I think and the US you already told me this one, actually. <laughs> we already talked about this. I like the idea that Snake was just genuinely interested in talking more about what's going on. With nuclear weapons. I think there's a SOCOM in here? Hey, hey. We're armed. I don't remember where the silencer is. Um, all right, is there any tactical advantage to going upstairs? Can you call Miller? Let's see. Harasho. Good. You found a Soka. A special operations command pistol. It's a 45 caliber pistol with plenty of stopping power. It's also equipped with a LAM for nighttime combat. If you hold down the weapon button, you can train the laser sight on the enemy to help you aim. If you find a SOCOM suppressor, you can equip that too. That pistol was designed specifically for use by special forces, so I think it will be useful. Some people find it a little heavy and hard to use, but it shouldn't be a problem for you. What, what line is Master Miller on? There's no way he picks up. He has a whole introduction. One four one eight zero. All right, let's try it. Not response. Yeah, he's, not, he's not picking up. He might be swatting down some bothersome flies right now. Can we sneak in behind this guy? He's sleeping. <laughs> I gotta choke him out. <laughs> that base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. 
is probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. <laughs> Snake, hurry up and get in there. That Hind will be coming back soon. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try to sneak up on this man and murder him. I had the gun equipped. All right, so R1 is fast equipped. Got it. No, I'm not giving up. No, I'm not giving up. Return to your possessions. I uh, mistakenly had the SOCOM equipped, but hey, at least we woke that guy up from his nap. Holy shit. See ya. Come get me, bros. <laughs> Can I get no? Oh, yeah, I pulled a sick Rob Lucci SP card out of my One Piece TCG pack. We're getting a lot of One Piece oh yas. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, the vision cone's tighter than I thought it was. Chad, go back. Go back and look at that vision cone. I'm just on the outside of it. That guy sees me. Generating electricity requires oxygen. Chad, is that true, or is he just is that a cool sounding lie? I was taken aback by that as well. Oops. This guy's still sleeping. <laughs> Chad says true. Good science. God, I love how grimy this looks. He doesn't see us, don't worry. Am I in for what if season two? Yeah, I think so. I don't love what if. Not my kind of thing. I actually don't know how to get to where I need to go from this little uh, tunnel. I think we don't turn where we turned. can't shoot our gun in here. We might be able to throw a grenade at him. Can't do that either. Okay. <laughs> There's more to this model than I thought there was. Why should I have doubted? So I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. <laughs> Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, <laughs> I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. 
So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. This is the so crazy. Huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. All right. Unfortunately, it became highly relevant. Genes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunate, unfortunately, it was not an unrelated aside. These rats are thematic. Laser Ramon, thanks for being a 34 monther. Uh, you cannot actually see the person you're talking to on the other side of the uh, codec. All it does is vibrate your ear bones. Ooh, I think on the other side there's no water. If there are mice, that means there must be. You don't see, but they sure act like you do sometimes. Are you referring to... Master Miller's... high-effort costume? Yeah, you know what? Oh, I hate being down here. I totally always enter from the top. Let's get a... Uh, chat, let's get good at choking people out. I feel like that's going to be an essential skill. Okay. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Copy that. Chat, it's like asking someone out. You just gotta go in. <laughs> this one saw me. Holy shit. So you gotta you gotta basically you gotta press X early. That's tough, dude. That's tough. Oh, this guy's coming for the stairs. Shit, 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 shit. And I forget, chat. It is part of Liquid's long speech way later. He calls the genome soldiers failures. It's like, they're failures. Are you shitting me? They fucking suck. They're nothing like you and me, Snake. Oh my god. Where are you all spawning from? Yeah, I don't know what I'm fucking up here. Grab range is crazy. I'm sick of, I'm sick of this shit, dude. Come on now. They're like, oh, I see you while you're choking me. What is this? What am I doing wrong? I know I can crawl under the tanks. I'm trying to learn how to grab and kill. You. 
It's easy to bump into them. I grab them. They're mid-grab before they see me. I'm not bumping into shit. You bump into them before choking. Nah. That's incorrect. <laughs> Fuck. Mujo versus Wolverine round one. We know that's not the end of it. We can get the thermal glasses later. Love this shit. Look how slick that is. That is so slick. It looks identical when you get caught and don't get caught. I agree. Chat's like, ah, uh ah, -uh, you bumped into them. But to me, it looks identical. It's just, obviously, it's way better to press it earlier than later. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay. That's our man. Okay, chat, serious question. Why has he got the green dot? <laughs> it's, it says fire. Um, yeah, I'm just, I was appreciating the lights. The fluorescent lights in the foreground are really nice. Same geolocator as you. Yeah, so the problem with that is that, like, uh, that's not the DARPA chief. Don't be fooled. Decoy uses his blood. Whoa. That's part of the process? Hell yeah. Oh, kind of damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. He just wanted to sit on the toilet. Just trying to get a little sit. I love Johnny. They went way too far with him in uh, MGS4. I fucking hated it. I couldn't believe my eyes. Memed straight into being a, a protagonist. I had no patience for that shit. First break? Nah, let's go. Let's. We gotta go way deeper. Is that a woman? Not. Hold on. Is that a woman? Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. I got it, Colonel. Don't just call me for any little thing, bro. Come on now. I'm gonna call Nastasha. Mantle the Pantex or some other. She's telling me the same dumb shit. 
Um, yeah, Meryl's exercises change. I remember that. Kind of a cool way to intro a character, honestly. Save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. It's <laughs> possible. It's possible. They could launch a nuke. This is How did they plan to launch? Chat, this whole time? This, place was just for keeping the this is some heads. fucking like chameleon man to pretending to be Donald Anderson. I'm about to tell you it's classified information. Okay. And he said, sweet, Jesus. <laughs> We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon <laughs> with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. <laughs> How did you know that? Oh, look at these shots. We wow. Had a couple of run ins in the past. So wow. that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. The Lali Lule Lo. Uh, I'm Denom. There's being a 38 monther. Not mentioned in this game. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex, the code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warheads they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey, shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> will ya? Love that shit. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes, Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But they found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. 
Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. <laughs> that card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. <laughs> you need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. So cool. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances. <laughs> I have enough time to paint them. <laughs> for the area, so That's so crazy. <laughs> Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Why does it gotta use the salts of my body, bro? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You... Haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What you? That's the scene that blew EGM's mind. With the rum the rumble, corresponding mm. rumble rumble there Dead. too. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a real heart attack. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I I don't know. She knows exactly like what fucking attack, happened. But... A heart attack. I know. Mm. Colonel. Are you hiding something from Colonel me? knows. Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. He says the absolutely not. Red. <laughs> the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. All right, so here's what's fucking awesome about that. Rockman Bionics, thanks for getting that gift sub. Um, all right, so the real Donald Anderson, no, he didn't give up his password. They tried to torture him out of it. Psycho Mantis couldn't get in, and they just accidentally killed him. Psycho Mantis says, boss, I have an idea. They get decoy octopus to straight up pretend to be Donald Anderson sitting there waiting for solid snake or whomever to come by and get some, extract some information from that's why when snake says, all right, I'm going to get you out of here. Let's go. He's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't know. You don't know how to use the key cards. You don't know where the key cards are. Cause we don't know how to use the key cards. We actually have no idea right now how to activate our nuclear weapon. <laughs> They're so fucked. They have this stuff, but they don't know how to use it. And they don't want the U.S. military to know that. <laughs> Ocelot kills him on purpose for his own agenda. Wait, tell me more. That's outside of my understanding of what happened there. <laughs> um... So the reason he has a fucking sudden heart attack is that uh, 
Solid Snake is walking around with a DNA virus. It targets particular people and kills them. <laughs> After the credits, he says the DARPA chief knew who he was, so he had to kill him. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. The DARPA chief knew Ocelot was playing both sides. For sure. For sure. Makes sense. That would blow this whole operation up. Liquid also knows what Snake is carrying, has kind of an interesting call before you leave the room. You say the DARPA chief is dead? Yeah. According to Naomi, it was a heart attack. It couldn't be. Well, it looks like all you can do now is find Kenneth Baker, the president of Arms Tech. He's in the second floor basement, isn't he? Yeah, on the other side of that wall that was cemented over. Okay. Good luck, Snake. You can do it. Not a kind of interesting call. Um. What Ocelot camp are you in? Genius character or Hammy Clown? Hammy Clown. Hammy Clown. Intentional Hammy Clown. It is so funny, this idea that they just, like, lathered up these holes in the wall with concrete, but didn't have time to paint them. <laughs> that kills me, bro. I don't think Liquid knows yet. I don't think he knows shit. Ooh, that's some nice audio, dude. God, I fucking love how this game looks. Look at these colors, dude. Oof. Now, chat's saying that Donald Anderson, the DARPA chief, is also in the Patriots which I do find hard to believe because it's 2005. Are there any humans in the Patriots at this point? He is Sigint of Metal Gear Solid 3? Same guy? The medical expert? Chat. No, I did not know that. Huh. Okay. Shit. The tech expert. Medical is paramedic. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, we're going to have to play Metal Gear Solid 3. It's your least favorite retcon. Is it a retcon? He like changes his name? Who's that over there? I don't think you can lean yet. <laughs> that was an MGS4 thing. Okay. All right. Don't move. Sigmund. 
So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. We'll take our break after a good girl Shoot. just like that. Don't think. Shoot! Butlet, thanks for being a new sub. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. Here she I'm goes. She's gonna light him up. Shoot. Meryl's first kills. She just took that grenade. Good shit, Meryl. Thanks for the help. Wait. Who are you? Sorry, sir. His mental shield He's not sorry. Strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. What a crazy thing to show you at that moment, actually. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what what are you what is she celebrating? Good girl. Just like that. Love that freak. That's a good freak. just had some kind of hallucination. <laughs> nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound's psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Peak Freak. <laughs> Love that shit. What kind of undies does that guy have? I'm guessing big goofy boxers. <laughs> wow, look how grimy this place looks. I love it. Damn. What's the best way to own this game physically? Um, excellent question. Yeah, that's tricky. Cause uh, you know I got this thing, right? Uh, this is the PS3 version. The PS3 Metal Gear Solid HD collection doesn't have one. <laughs> doesn't have one on that. So, I think it's like, uh, 
And the PlayStation 1 version. PS2 Essentials release? I don't know about that. Legacy collection on PS3 is the good shit. Oh, okay. Like, I love the glow of these monitors. So much, dude. Wow. You talk about remaking this game, right? Like, like you gotta nail the aesthetic. If this bathroom isn't disgusting, you have failed. The Legacy Collection comes with a digital code for MGS1, not a physical copy. Super important distinction, I think, for collectors. Chat says if you zoom in enough, it goes away. Not in my case. This game would be extremely difficult to uh, remake, I agree. Chat says closer. All right. Right up in there. I think we're going to have to leave him alone. <laughs> Snake, Psycho Mantis has the power to read. I agree. I think Signalis is actually pretty close. Detonation code. Hurry up or he'll get Baker's code too. That's right. If the terrorists get Baker's code, they'll be able to launch that nuke anytime they want. Yeah, they'll use Metal Gear to do it. Colonel, did you know they were conducting a military exercise here using Metal Gear? I didn't know. Yeah, right. Really? Really? Snake, you've got to understand, I'm just the middleman in this operation. Anyway, hurry up and get to the second floor basement. You've got to save the arms tech president before the terrorists find out his code. Uh, this will sound crazy. Um, parts of, uh, Stray, too. Parts of Stray 100% gave me th this vibe right here. Uh, I'm thinking of, like, one particular, like, uh, security station that was off of that, uh, second city. I, uh, played the NES Metal Gear game on an NES, I think in college. That game sucks. I couldn't play it. That game, that game is just a mess and not fun to play. Uh, all right, so let's take a quick break, chat. When we get back, uh, we'll get to the second basement level. We're going to try to figure out which uh, walls are destructible. And hopefully we'll find Kenneth Baker. <laughs> Stray has similar good use of color vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's possible. Yeah, it's possible to do it HD. It doesn't have to be grody pixels. You can still pull off that kind of glow. Wow. Yeah, this was worth booting up the PS3 version for. I don't I don't know. I wonder if anybody like knows about like file compression or whatever. What was going wrong with the audio in the master collection? Um but yeah, I'm not mad I bought it because we still got two and three to play. But uh, yeah, happy to be here on the uh, p the old PlayStation 3. Konami. Konami. Well, what's weird is there's a lot of effort put into that collection. It also looks blurry for some reason. You mean blurrier than this? There's so, like uh, the extra stuff they added to that game is like f thoughtful, right? It's like things you wouldn't even ex think to ask for. There is a lot of love put into that collection. This is Sharp Run PS3. Wow. Anyway, uh, quick break chat. We'll be back. See you soon.
It's really funny. Um, I was thinking about how. Uh, oh, we got a contentious poll here. Baldur's Gate is eating shit. Uh, you know, like a lot of people in chat have high media literacy. If they're playing this game and they're told there are five members of Unit Foxhound. Expect to see all five of these characters. Um, one of them is a master of disguise. Those with high media literacy are expecting to see a double cross, a, a, a reveal, a tada, right? They're expected, oh, like, oh, at some point, someone is going to be revealed to be the master of disguise. And so that scene they played just as Meryl was swaying to the elevator. Um, to those who are like paying attention, they're like, oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> I was really surprised they just like showed that. To those who are like really like clued in and like actually like building expectations, they would be like, yeah. Okay, so the real guy is dead and the one who just died is the master of disguise. Me playing this, obviously I'm like, when is the decoy octopus boss fight coming up? <laughs> Me playing this, I'm like, shoot, we're pretty deep in. I haven't fought decoy octopus yet. So funny, dude. I love that. I love that so much. Obviously, you expect all five members of Unit Foxhound to be boss fights. Over Ocarina of Time is overrated. Oh my god. We're streaming that too. We're gonna go two for two in 1998 games that hold up. There's no way Ocarina of Time is overrated. Oh my gosh, look at that angle. Woo! Oh, we still have this equipped. Smell my salts. You like Majora's way more? That's that's wrong though. That's incorrect. Jabu's belly is awful? No, 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 no. 
chat, like you're you're missing you're missing the impact if the discussion is about like one temple not feeling great. You know what I mean? Dark Lord Ty, thanks for being a 12 month there. Happy holidays, Kyle and chat. Really random question for you, Kyle. Doing a lot of research on old comedians for work. I came across Andy Kaufman, who vaguely reminds me of your style of humor. Curious if you have any thoughts on him. Now, Andy Kaufman knows how to commit to a bit. Or new. Uh, maybe too much? Oh, we almost fell in... <laughs> I, forgot. I forgot there's just fucking pits down here. You can just fall into that pit and die. Um. So I do think there's something admirable about that. And I do remember really liking Man on the Moon. That's right. Uh, C4 is in the C4 door. Nikita's in the Nikita door. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have that level of salt yet. <laughs> it drains her health. That's so cool. It's the right way to do that. Famas. With pineapples. Grenade. Let's get one of those. So what's crazy about this, right? If I want SIGs, which are to my right, I click left. That's gonna take me a while to get used to always. For some reason, those are inverted. All right, so here we are looking for <laughs> cement that hasn't been paved over, or sorry, painted over yet. Because <laughs> we just picked up some C4. Square to set, circle to detonate. This shit is so cool. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> God, that's sweet. I love that shit. Just because I don't think you would find them, there are two extra destructible walls to the east and west of the elevator on top that you can blow up. You're right. I don't know about those. You want to do those now when there's no guards? <laughs> you ever try the Tenchu games? I think I did a uh, demo of a Tenchu game and uh, found it very difficult. I don't think I like passed the demo. Oh yeah, check that out. I don't typically hit these on my playthroughs. So cool. Shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what does Nastasha know about trap doors? A plastic explosive with a texture similar to clay, so you can shape it in almost any way you want. Although it has 1.4 times the destructive power of dynamite, it is highly stable and won't explode without a detonating device, even if it is shot, burned, or beaten. You are using a wireless detonator, yes? 
The detonator is equipped with a scrambler, so you don't have to worry about interference from any other radio source. Make sure you are sufficiently far enough away when it goes off. Also, as you know, the sound of the explosive will alert your enemies, so be careful. Chat, you're wasting your time if you're not calling Nastasha at every, any given opportunity. This is valuable information. I will say my opinion on Majora drastically went up because of QOL stuff in their 3DS version. I think it would be really fun to stream it. I, um, I got so frustrated with the game. and it's repetition that I think like, if you just have someone around who's like, just do this now and just do this now, I think that would alleviate a lot of the uh, stress. It's a stressful game. And I don't think Zelda games should be that stressful. I did know you can do C4 on soldiers backs. I've only done it with the um, stealth camo. Now, I think that one's Kenneth Baker, and then this one is, like, the guns room. Right, but that guns room is no good to us now. <laughs> you all right, bud? Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? Uh, and then this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we need key card six for that room. All right, so we'll save it. <laughs> Spidey got him. Did I own any Metal Gear Solid action figures growing up? Uh, yeah, I remember being super hyped on them. Uh, Todd McFarlane did Metal Gear Solid 2 action figures, and I had Solid as Snake. You can get the camera in that room? All right, let's do it. So let's chaff it up. Huh, not good enough. Uh oh, we're all right. <laughs> you need the level six card. Copy that. Hey, we got some. So we got something in there. What, what did we get? I don't know. Okay. Um, does the stun grenade work on Ocelot, Kyle? You wouldn't. Yeah, I would. All right. We got more C4. Okay. Hey, that's worth it. But as a kid, you thought the shoulder tubes were the coolest shit? No, I thought the swords were cool. I did not like the shoulder like tubes, actually. It made no sense he had Dr. Octopus claws. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. C4. Oh, that's right. I was thinking like, maybe I could use C4 in this fight. I think it blows everything up if you try. Right, touch that wire and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. Ooh, this is a good performance. Special operations, Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Would you call him a, a clowny cheese ball? Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver.
Draw. Draw. Caleb, thanks for being a 42 monther. You can shoot Baker before triggering the cutscene. If you kill him, Ocelot calls you an idiot on the game over screen. Yes! Yeah, I remember that was a joke with my buddy. Dun 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 dun! You idiot! Yeah. Yep, I remember that actually. I didn't want to help you. I understand the bullets you I make them go where I want. Spyro 1 and Crash 3 have no play. Oh, he ricochets! I know whose help I need. He is using a single action army? The first model of that gun was made in 1873, over 130 years ago. Today, they're still being made in small numbers, but uh, that's just for collectors and such. Nobody uses them in combat anymore. The biggest drawback to revolver-style handguns is reload time. That's your chance. Okay, good tip. <laughs> Not my best shots. All right. Alive. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Love the bullet counter next to his name. That's so cool. Shoot, do you only get to hit him once? He had iframes. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I gotta, I gotta like wiggle in here. Be the smell of your own nice snake. Wait a minute. Shit. He said, "Wait a minute." Nice shot, nice shot. Wait a minute. Yeah. I fucking love this. This is sweet as hell. Such a good line. We'll meet again. Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That, that exoskeleton. 
Look like cool ninja. So the Cyborg Ninja was heavily promoted, right? This was not a surprise on your first playthrough. Oh, you know what? We missed, um... Can you talk? On the top route, you hear some guards talking about a second intruder. The, the Cyborg Ninja. Told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. Yeah. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Look at his little legs. Dead. What? I uh, can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? He fucking knows what's coming. To save you. He knows he's about to get Fox died. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes. Love now. that shit. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys. Card keys? To override <laughs> the card keys. code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? <laughs> Snake has so many abs. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> That's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, so cute, is there dude. some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. <laughs> oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste. You're right, this is the first IRL footage. As far as you can see, because there's it's still effective. a way to dispose of the stuff. 
So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? Muff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. Damn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Yeah, this game felt so serious. Still that live action shit is powerful. Presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed these shots. as a Black Project. Black Project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's Black Budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. <laughs> <laughs> Not even those fucking bleeding heart liberals. <laughs> business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. That shit's important. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. That data disc is like MGS2 no. shit. No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret. An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh, you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those yeah. Pentagon bastards. They want you so dead, bro. They, they actually went and did it. They're what snuffing you, you out. They, they, they're just using you for... Snake's a carrier, dude. His mission is just to go walk around this base spreading this Hell. disease. <laughs> it's so crazy. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Ooh, Snake, that was a good little pause. Electrical interference coming from there. 
It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, get a hold of yourself. Hold of ninja thing. A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Good shit. Good shit. Let's get his dog tags. So I saw a bunch of interesting things in chat. Uh, apparently the dialogue changes if you die once during that fight. Ocelot says something different, like sort of, I don't know, the game remembers you died, which is always so rude. Can I get a happy birthday? Fairly confident I could be the oldest person in chat right now? Happy birthday, Meta Monk. And don't be so confident. He is not impressed with you. That's so funny. God, yeah, I love the details of this. Oh, and someone someone was also saying, so there's that moment, right, where he said, um, I forgot the, uh, the number, the Kodak number. Um... In Twin Snakes, Snakes pulls out his gun and points it at Kenneth Baker's head for forgetting. That's so crazy to me. I totally did forget that. I hate Twin Snakes. Largely because of what they changed in the cutscenes. That is so funny. Um. So what is cool about that, chat, is... Our goal right now is to call Meryl. He said on the back of the CD case... I, I, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I feel like it's like a, a legendary moment at this point. People know they mean the actual physical CD case of the game. Uh, I don't think that's like immediately apparent. Oh yeah, we got some new salts. To someone just playing this game. Oh, that's keycard flow before. Um, so you're like, what CD case? And so I think you got to call Colonel a few times. And he spells it out for you. He's like, the CD case, the back of the CD case you got this game in, or something like that. I tried using the back of Baker's data disc, of course. Yeah. I wonder if these refreshed. We need, we need the ammo, bro. I used up everything. Ocelot does not take a punch. <laughs> I mean, he do I guess he does take a punch. Hey, hey, let's get a promise. Here we go. This is where we actually have to start smoking a little bit. Check that shit out. Isn't that cool? God, that actually, that effect is still really nice. The way you just faintly see the laser beam. Because we're smoking. I looked on the back of a Blur CD. <laughs> What'd you learn back there? Does Nastasha talk about lasers? We, should, we all were a call. It is just like Baker said. We are facing increasing danger from stored nuclear She materials. wants to talk about nukes. You see, there are three elements necessary in the manufacture of nuclear weapons. Nuclear materials, nuclear engineers, and manufacturing technology. All three of them can easily be acquired by either legal or illegal means. If you have enough money, that is. <laughs> nuclear weapons, nuclear reactors, hazardous waste. We are constantly being exposed <laughs> to plutonium and other radioactive materials. Compared to that, smoking seems not so bad, no? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Oh, shit. Watch that radar. Oh, 
Mailing gets pissed and says you don't care about me. That's funny. Is there lore for why these guys don't trigger the um, trap doors? nuclear engineers in the world but they say after the end of the cold war the demand for nuclear engineers dropped precipitously in the eastern bloc countries in particular there is a tremendous brain drain they cannot keep their scientists in the country and each year more and more nuclear engineers go to work for the highest bidder damn Next music club, we'll be discussing music we discovered during this year. It has to be released this year. Got any takes? Honestly, uh, one of chat's best ever recommendations was uh, 1000 Gex. I feel like I listened to that album like 40 times this year. That was not this year? Damn. DQ'd. All right, this guy is just sleeping. Well, I fuck up the kill. Ten thousand gex is twenty twenty three. Oh, okay, yeah, I think that's the one I listened to. What's the one that I'm going crazy? Pretty little Hollywood baby. What's that one? That's this year? Yeah, that was what I would bring. You never make it in Hollywood, baby. That one. Campbell talks about how the soldiers can sleep while standing up if you get close to him. Look in first person and call him. Oh my gosh, we gotta try that. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. Oh. Wait, that guy's upstairs. No, he's right there, bro. Oh my god. Okay, we're okay. Uh, let's call Meryl. Frog on the floor, not my fave. <laughs> the only one I skip is like, um, boop, 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 boop. Jamie's got a gun. Billy's got a gun too. Jamie's got a gun. I, go I got to skip that one every single time. 140, 15. <laughs> one million dollars, don't skip. Don't skip. Who are you? Who are I you? was really impressed with the way Meryl. you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But Look at these fucking eyes, dude. Wow. 
It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? Yoji no, Shinkawa. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Oh, just Chat says he's like 23 right now. Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Damn. Oh, I don't believe that. Snake knows he's shit. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because 33. Okay, I feel like better. Him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's <laughs> the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? 50 Husky I don't think snubbed. it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Ooh. Colonel. Colonel, you piece of shit. The next generation special forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing, you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Oh my gosh. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. <laughs> What's the best way to get to the building the first the time? You know? <laughs> There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. Ooh? I never had any problems in training. Get used to this. I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing Ooh, that's nice. are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Holy Every shit, that hits. My life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real Oh my action. god. And now. So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. <laughs> the adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. So condescending. Kind of but I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. 
If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Yeah, uh, chat, this, uh, character art is superior to, like, any game that you like. Maybe Hades comes close. It's just talking like portrait art, right? Not siphon filter. Okay, chat. Uh, Plain Shane, thanks for being a three monther. Um, shit, my memory is uh, we were able to open this now, but I see that's level five. I gotta call Colonel. I actually don't even know what I'm supposed to do right now. very strong woman. I really respect her. She's got plenty of heart. Thanks, Snake. Not so fast. The real mission is still ahead. I want to grab the box and thermal goggles on this floor before moving on. You mean upstairs? Alright, I'm just nervous. I think they're going to find me. Oh, what? Come on now. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thank Thanks. you, Meryl. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. Where I can see ya. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You said you'd be a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 you promised to be a good girl. <laughs> I cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. No, Han, you're being a bad girl. Come on now. Come on. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> Have I decided what ending we're going for yet? My, my cannon is Alicon. Their relationship in MGS2 doesn't make sense otherwise. All right, we got cardboard box A, which allows us to hide, but also fast travel. God, this room is so cool looking. Damn. Um, So it's harder to sneak around. This This floor actually does make noise, right? Um, what's crazy is they're both canon. I think in MGS4, they talk about how they like tried dating for a minute and it just didn't work out. Like, Snake was really like too old and grumpy for the relationship to be good. Am I in trouble? Yep. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
Alright, we're alright. Designed so that your footsteps echo. It's designed that way? Snake, there's a way to walk so your footsteps won't be heard. I call it stalking. Here's okay. how you do it. First, put your weight on the opposite foot that you're going to step with. Then, take a step so that your heel makes contact with the ground first. <laughs> then, as you slowly lower the tip of your foot to the floor, gradually shift your weight onto that foot. <laughs> Use your knees to maintain the subtle balance. Try it. What the fuck? I I can't do it. Wear <laughs> your socks over your shoes. If you crawl on your stomach, you won't make any noise either. I, 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 can't, I can't do it. <laughs> that was worth the chat. That was good shit. That was good shit. I can't do it. Snake, that floor is. I call it stalking. Oh, he's coming back. We're in real trouble now. We're in the doo-doo now, chat. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you're playing Twin Snakes right now. You could just shoot that camera ahead of us. Mind detector, that could be valuable soon. Yeah, I don't think I have the thermal goggles still, chat. But we got the mind detector, so that, that'll do something for us. I don't know where the thermies are. This room is so cool. GD. Wow. Love this shit. Love that MGS 1 through 3 has iconic boss rosters. It's so insane how much of a letdown the MGS 4 boss roster is. Seems intentionally bad, right? Thermal is there too, next door. I couldn't get in the other door. I think that's it, chat. I think you're supposed to have mind detector before thermal. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. I don't like the BBs. You probably no. can't see them with your naked eyes. But there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. I like, I like the BBs could work, right? I've always liked the idea of like this, like uh, <laughs> like using like uh the sound of somebody crying. As a weapon? That's so interesting to me. You know what I mean? Like, imagine a robot walking down the street that is constantly making the noise of, like, children crying. That's terrifying. But I feel like, yeah, the characters themselves were nothing. And basically, it would Drebin would just call you and tell you what their backstory was after each one. My Christmas D&D one-shot is coming up in 15 minutes. Do we have a good luck oh yeah for my friend who'll be DMing for the first time? A good luck oh yeah, yeah, that's fun. Oh yeah. On a one-shot low stakes, dude. <laughs> that's a plot point in Andor? Remind me, I don't remember that shit.
What are you talking about? That's a plot point in the end. Oh, you mean like the fucking torture device. Yeah. What's cool about that is you never hear it, right? But that's right. They were like, these are these very specific aliens that make this very specific cry. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got a recording of them. Yeah. A snake, that room is set with infrared sensors. You should be able to see them if you had some smoke. Uh, cigarette smoke or something. Sorry, but these are smokeless cigarettes. You mean those cigarettes that are designed to cut down on secondhand smoke? Cut down? <laughs> well, don't worry. If you blow the smoke in the direction of the infrared sensors, you should be able to see them. That was a good idea, bringing the cigarettes, but uh, don't smoke too much. Cigarettes make you weak in mind and body. They are bad for you. Love that shit, as her own cigarettes just flopping out of her lips. I'm gonna fuck this up. Oh yeah, baby. Kind of hard to read, right? Here we go. <laughs> Highly recommend saving. I thought we get auto saves. What can I do for you, Snake? You ever play the original Command and Conquer at the time? CNC is another game where I always truly admired the aesthetic of the game, similar to original, original Metal Gear Solid. No, I had one friend who was crazy about. Snake, remember what the goal uh, the grave Command and Conquer. Of but never played myself. <laughs> Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow. You know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. Snake. Well, I'll think about it. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> and he knows it. You can't love me, I'm a piece of shit. He's that kind of guy, you know? No need, I see him. No need. No need, I see him. I got a little mind D. <laughs> Can I get a soft oh yeah? No such thing. For building not one, but two, not two, but three model kits that have been in my backlog over two years in just one week. Here's the latest one, very on theme with today's game. Oh my God, this is so cool. Cat for scale. Huge. That's a huge cat. Oh, we do have a soft oh yeah, actually. Oh yeah. Chad, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was Deep Throat. I thought it was Colonel. <laughs> that enormous cat. I'm so sorry I missed a call from Deep Throat. And you don't get to call Deep Throat. That's a one-way communication. Bro. Chad, it is so rare on the PlayStation 1 to ever have this sense of environment. Really. It's rare on PlayStation 2. This is, this is so cool. I feel like I am here right now. Good call, Chad. Good call. Snake. You are. Be careful. There are claymore mines around there. You a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me 
Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position. Never mind about that. That's not what I was referencing. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. One of your fans. Oh, someone was also saying earlier in chat about um Ocelot's voice actor basically had done some Hanna-Barbera shit and then got cast in this and then that was it though. Nothing after this. How about this voice actor? <laughs> Nastasha and Mei Ling will comment on Deep Throat. That area is mined? After you locate the mines on your radar, crawl forward and retrieve them. Oh! Anti-personnel mines have killed over 20,000 non-combatants in the past 30 years. In countries like Cambodia and Nicaragua, the killing and maiming of innocent victims continues long after the wars have ended. It is easy to plant mines, you see, but removing them is a different matter. It requires more time and manpower than anyone is willing to invest. The superpowers need to donate more mine detectors and other equipment to remove them. It is the least we could do after laying them. After you locate the mines on your radar, crawl forward. She's not going to talk about Deep Throat. <laughs> Mei Ling, how can someone there we outside go. of this operation cut into my codec? You're talking about that guy calling himself Deep Throat. <laughs> we were monitoring from here. What about it? <laughs> Well, if somebody knows your frequency, they can call you. But the question is, how did he learn it? It's top secret information. Can you tell me where he called from? I'm sorry. The signal is too weak to locate its source. But I'm sure he's near you. Somewhere on the base. So, chat, Deep Throat is, um... Be careful, Snake. Uh, Gray Fox. Cyborg Ninja. Uh, so it actually is pretty crazy that he has our frequency. I'm not sure how he's got that. Deep Throat's voice actor is Greg Eagles. He did a lot of Cartoon Network stuff, including Ben 10's grandfather. No, 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 no. Hold up. That, that's an incorrect wiki. The Colonel is Ben 10's grandfather. Hit the brakes on that. We're getting a lot of claim wars. He got it from Naomi? Because he's our biggest fan. I don't think he and Naomi are, like, talking right now. He also plays Donald Anderson? Crazy. Colonel is Paul Aiding. Right, but that's Ben 10's grandpa. Greg Eagle's Grim from Billy and Mandy. That's correct. Aku, Aku, and Crash Bandicoot is correct. But that wiki needs to fix the uh, Ben 10 thing. Greg Eagle's. I like his shit. Tank tracks in the snow are nice foreshadowing. Hell yeah. This is Raven's territory. Good media literacy chat. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. <laughs> I will not let you pass. Send him a message. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You 
should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Come, let's fight! Weird detail about this fight. He does different animations depending on which shell you get hit by. If you get hit by the seventh shell fired between sets, he flexes his muscles while grunting. If you get hit by four to six, he does a funny laugh animation. One to three, he points and laughs at you. That's just too nuts. I'm afraid that's just too nuts. Um, I don't believe I can use claymores in this fight. I feel like I gotta use chaffs to get close and then grenades to pop on them. That's my memory. You know what would be a good advisor for this? That M1 tank is equipped with advanced Victronics. Once it Best locks onto a target, it automatically tracks it. And its main gun is effective up to 3,000 meters. To get close, you'll have to confuse the tracking system. Use your chaff. If you can jam the system and get close enough, it won't be able to use its main gun. Use your chaff the long distance to fool its electronic systems. Hell yeah. We still got our mind D on. Oh, he was ready to fucking go. I guess I'm getting the laugh. Okay, bro. Oh shit. Nah, bro. I think I dropped that. You did. Oh, he treaded me. Wow, that noise. See how you like this. See how you like this. Oh shit. Come on out, big boy. New salts. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. He got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. It's what just like this him? giant man. He is just as you said. Oh, here he comes out. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon, much like you. I would expect no less. See, I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, Shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. Oof. He and I will again in battle same prediction as always yes the raven on my head it thirsts for his blood <laughs> bro one of the hardest fights on extreme kills a lot of speedruns the tank is really fast 
and you have to hit the treads two times with Claymore C4 or grenades to slow it down. If he hits you and is still on top of you, when your iframes are done, you die instantly. Damn. Yeah, that, that was nice. We were pretty sloppy there, and uh, the game was accommodating. Playing on normal difficulty, chat. This shit I love. Always have, always will. Look at that. Oh my god. Don't give me a game without a first person option. Don't even give it to me. No, no fucking excuse. Yeah, look at this shit. Oh my god, I love it. I love this. <laughs> David Hayter had to audition again for Metal Gear Solid 3. Damn. Alright, so hold on. Is that because we beat the boss that we can hold three rations now? This room maxes out the PS1 polygon count. They had to cover some missiles with the green tarp. That's why. That's funny. Cool. Max it out, baby. Increases health and carry items. That's awesome. Want to see some cool shit? Damn. <laughs> Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. Now we can't do it. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. <laughs> Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. In <laughs> the Nastasha media. Knows more about it than I do. All of the warheads. Oh, we should call Nastasha then. Detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. <laughs> All right, fine. Message received. JM Sebastian, sorry I missed you. Thanks for being a 42 month. I can't believe it's been 42 months. Time just gets away from us. Happy holidays, Kyle. Happy holidays back at ya. And mass racks. Thanks. The, uh, this this week's delayed input. One of those times where I absolutely like this is stuff. Like I don't even say stuff like this on the uh, Patreon because like you shouldn't say this to your audience. But like one of those times where I absolutely had no idea if I was uploading shit or not. You know what I mean? Like something like I, I, it's like a 50 50 chance a coin flip where like, oh, if the comments tear me up for this, I understand. <laughs> you just like you sometimes you never know basically what you just made, especially because like, you know, it's like 9 a.m. Snick, that is a nuclear warhead storage area. Are all these filled with nuclear warheads? Yes. But their detonation mechanisms have been removed. So I don't have to worry about this island turning into a pile of smoking rubble. No, but if their casing is damaged, they may be leaking nuclear materials. Please, make sure you do not use your gun around there. Now that's a cigarette chat. So, someone said they thought it was like um, a microphone. Like a headset for communication. Come on now. Four grenades, we need those. Oh shit. <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> shit. No, 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 no. Get up, get up. Oh, there's no roll. Shit, I'm trying to, like, roll through these guys. Oh, I don't think we make it out of here, Snake. God damn it. <laughs> uh, not first death. Not the first death. That's number two. Uh, voice director for this was Chris Zimmerman Salter. She started... 
Her career is Hanna-Barbera and Cartoon Network, which explains all the connections. She went on to voice direct every Metal Gear game after this, as well as Suda51 stuff, X-Men Legends Ultimate Alliance, Dead Rising, and every Insomniac game uh, since Spider-Man PS4. Wow. Why do they get to shoot? Um, They have some cool, like, chemically suppressed weapons. Um, all right, chat. Now, obviously, I've been... I used to, like, never try to choke guys out because, of, like, that's so inconsistent. But I'm realizing that, like, the timing being tight on that is, like, almost necessary. The game would be too ridiculously easy if, like, uh, that wasn't specific. You know what I mean? No chokes. No chokes. That's how I used to play it. No chokes. You don't have to go kill everybody. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh my god. Talking about rooms with a presence. Oh no. Oh my god. No chokes. No chokes. We're all right. You're all right, Snake. <laughs> the old smash mirrors trick. Fair enough. Man, this place is a real dump, huh? Oh, shit. Wow. This game is so advanced, man. Out of control. <laughs> There's a working mirror in the women's bathroom. They won't let me in. Looks like flash cards are coming to Nintendo Switch like R4 cards. Apparently a new exploit has been found that gimmicks a game card. No. Oh, that's actually, that's bad news. That's bad news. We're talking about duping. Woo. I don't know how often you hear that sound effect. That's nice. Shut up in there, will you? All right. I don't think we're ready to go down this hallway yet. <laughs> Imagine if they discovered it at launch. Fair point. Switch has another good year in it still though, chat. Watch out, that place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. 
Yeah, I don't have one of those deep throat. So do we have to go back to the cemented walls? Switch got hacked very early on after launch. Chat says, yeah, we got to go back. It's the Nikita door. Shit. Yeah, I think there's no other way to progress. <laughs> this game's good. It's got me hiding. <laughs> That's fun. You stupid chat. God damn it, you stupid chat. You almost had me convinced. <laughs> I was ready to go back. <laughs> Shit. A lot of dead deads. Yeah, so the thing is, though, I feel like uh, that stuff does get patched pretty easily. Or at least the, the 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 Switch thing that it launched with, right? So, like, yeah, you can, like... Uh... Oh, my God. That's why this wall is invisible. It's like, this is our target. We got to get this little machine over here. So you kind of get an appreciation at the entrance for where that's going to be. That's so nice. Game, you're so nice. What a design. You ever hear Kojima say that uh, he used the Legos to design these environments? Lay out the environments, I should say. I think that's cool as shit. How do you accelerate? Fuck. Let's get some air. Uh, I don't know if you can accelerate. God, this is so cool. Oh, I'm going straight toward this one. No, you're right. So let's go, let's go under these two. Open up. Shit. How does that door open? It is open. I hit the edge. Oh, okay, cool. So the chat says the boosts happen just when you are going in the same di one direction for long enough. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yep. It's like Clive sprinting in uh, Final Fantasy 16. That was cool as hell, man. That was cool as hell. If you press first person while the missile's in the air, you get an overhead view of the missile. Oh, that would have been helpful. I'm not ready for what we're about to do next. I know, brother. Shit, I can't get over that corner. We can chaff it later. I don't think there's anything super important in these offices yet. <sighs> Iconic indeed. Oof. Oh my god. 
God, I just love how this game looks so much. That's the gas mask in that room? Okay. Well, we can go back out that way. This is the best game to play through in one night. Who can pull that off? You're skipping dialogue. Look at this shit. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. Oh my god. Oh man, I forgot about this audio design in here. Holy shit, that's creepy. Save here? Alright. Chai, I don't understand why we're saving. You can continue at any spot, right? You can't use the radar because something's jamming it. And whatever's doing it is very close to you. Be careful. For safety, I don't understand. Be careful, Snake. What does Nastasha know about swords? Just like Baker said. Each year, there are more and more cases of muff coming from the nuclear material storage facilities. That stands for material unaccounted for. It means that someone is stealing nuclear materials and probably selling them on the black market. After the fall of the Soviet Union, the nuclear management program fell to pieces. In the late 1990s, there were rumors that nearly a hundred suitcase-sized nuclear bombs mysteriously disappeared from the Soviet arsenal. We still do not know whether it is true or not, but it is possible that they fell into the hands of terrorists. Look at Snake. He still cares. Oh my god. This is so scary. Holy shit. Chat, you reminded me, um, senior year of high school. You, like, you got to pick a topic for, uh, like, your big thesis paper, right? And I was like, I'm gonna do mine about the Gulf War Syndrome. That thing where, like, soldiers were, like, seeing babies. And it's like, no, no, that's just one sentence at the end of Metal Gear Solid, bro. <laughs> Liquid states it like fact. He's like, there were people, it was referred to as the Gulf War Syndrome, where soldiers saw little babies on the battlefield. And it's like, oh my gosh, that's such an interesting thing to make a video game about. It's like, well, it's made up, bro. <laughs> Chat says uh, there's unique camera angles if you s crouch by these guys, but we're not getting any. Did you have to cite your sources? It was really quickly into the research phase where I realized that uh, I was not going to get enough material to write a paper. I did. Actually, it turned out to be a good paper. I wrote it about the uh, Patriot Act. There we go. Did you mean this?
Any ghosties? We don't have the camera yet, so unfortunately we can't take any ghost photos. The USA Patriot Act, in fact. This guy's alive, bro. Don't lean. What are you talking about, don't lean? Oh, I see. Cool. So it's like I'm investigating them, basically. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's like Resident Evil, dude. Look at that shit. That's so cool. How did you not know this? Never knew this. Ooh! Do I have a Metal Gear Solid art book nearby? I could pull it up in between breaks. We could pull that up. Wow, really good detail chat. Gulf War Syndrome is real, just not how Metal Gear Solid describes it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to see if we can put this poor guy out of his misery. Nah, I think we just made it worse. This is the first official taking a knee. I know, man. I know. Okay, good reminder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be calling Naomi during any boss fight, including that Vulcan Raven one. So Kyle said no ghost babies fuck this topic. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the darkness. All right, here we go. <laughs> camera tech is beyond siphon filter, it's true. Siphon filter at least has a nice third person camera. It's got that going for it. <laughs> That's sound design, bro. Stealth camouflage. Someone just pouring Ooh. some milk on the table. Japanese anime. <laughs> I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! Watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Ooh. Damn, now, that's such a make cool design. Me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Such a cool design. Damn. If you have a question about members of Foxhound, you should ask Naomi. I'm sorry, but there's no one in Foxhound like that. Uh -huh. Currently, only six members of Foxhound. Psycho Mantis, Sniper Wolf, Vulcan Raven, Decoy Octopus, Revolver Ocelot, and finally, Liquid Snake. The genome soldiers under his command are next-generation special forces. 
Foxhound is intended to be a small number of highly elite and handpicked soldiers. You're talking about the current Foxhound, right? Yes. Snake, who or what is that thing? Is he an enemy or not? That's what I'd like to know. Naomi, you really don't have any idea? Maybe I should ask you the same thing. What? Nothing. Forget about it. Ooh. Oh. She's still she's still upset. She's a Frank Yeager fan. She fucking hates Solid Snake and she let it slip. She slipped for a second there. <laughs> um Yeah, sorry. I was thinking chat at the time, you're right. I don't really have a frame of reference for what it means to be from a Japanese anime. <laughs> um My first reference, oh, this is what I was thinking of. My first reference of ever hearing about anime was like the Scholastic News Magazine for kids in school and reading about how uh, Pokemon had caused epileptic seizures in Japan. And me and my friend are just reading this article and it just sounds so wild. So like, it's like Pokemon or pocket monsters. And so we're like, oh, so it's called Pokemon? This is the craziest story I ever heard, man. Look at this Pokemon thing. And like, we didn't know how to pronounce Pikachu either, but like it showed like a drawing of Pikachu. And it's like, dude, there's like something mythical about this. This, this cartoon made people sick. Anyway, that was my first exposure. Nastasha will talk about the exosuit. Excellent. Look at him move. He must have some kind of powered exoskeleton. Powered exoskeleton? You mean like prosthetic arms and legs? No. Prosthetics are intended to replace original body parts. That ninja's exoskeleton makes him far stronger than any normal human. He is a true cyborg, a cybernetic organism. So he's half machine, huh? I heard rumors about the experiments, but I had no idea that such a creature really existed. Cool. Uh, give me a give me a strat for this, Nastasha. Look at him move. He must okay. All I'm all I'm used to is like uh the ha 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 for this fight. He says hurt me more. I'm like used to doing like the the combo. My bad. But we'll try to unload on him. Yeah, look at that shit. Snake, you can't defeat me with a weapon like that. <laughs> Good punch. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. Oh, he definitely has some action figures on that shelf, huh? Let's make him wreck some more shit. That was cool. Awesome. He's smashing these monitors. Cal's going to be so mad. <laughs> this fight's fucking awesome. I 
I kind of think the Cyborg Ninja is not very good. <laughs> I think he's not actually that good at fighting, bro. <laughs> That's good snake. Come and catch me. True, he did ask for the pain. The song's good, huh? It's a PlayStation 1, isn't it? Kind of. Kind of a PS1. It's a game console. Like old times. I've been waiting for this pain. Oh my god. It's a really good delivery. Ooh! So maybe now we got to use chaffs or something. He's doing some really cheap parries. Get up. Snake too proud. How's he doing? There we go. <laughs> Shit. <Hurt me more. laughs> there it is. learned you just gotta bait out the punch oh <laughs> use my last ration on that oh shit what's up with the sound design holy fuck oh i forgot i put that there that's on me come on buddy Stay far away and shoot him now. A little too late. A little too late for that tip. A little too late for that one. That was a late tip. As part of the hiring process at Konami, Shinkawa was tested to create pieces of the art themed around Turtle. Due to the popularity of TMNT, he ended up making his... Three designs, a humanoid toy turtle, a monster turtle, and a mech turtle, fully out of clay before drawing them. Let's see the monster turtle. So cool. This is how you auditioned for a job back in the day, huh? Very, very cool. 
Didn't expect that sudden charge at him. It wasn't a sudden charge. I was on the floor for 40 seconds. Sudden charge. Get real. Didn't expect that sudden charge, uh-huh. Okay, bro. I don't like the iframes he gets after his uh, sky drop. Ooh, that was a nice kick. Nasty. Oh, the glass was already out, shit. That's cheap, bro. Quit that shit. That's good, Snake. Hurry up and catch me. Hopefully this time we can preserve Otacon's game. Yeah, I'm not going to let him smash out of Khan's monitor this time. Not this time, bro. Crazy how many uh, hits this fight takes, huh? It's a long fight. Do you remember Snake? The feel of battle, the clashing. There's the analog movement, by the way. Look at that. Oof. Clean. Did it again. He got me again. Oh wait, what? 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 No, 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 no! Leave my friend's console alone. Shit. Do you remember? 
the movie now. Can't be. What's the pause punch? You were killed in Zanzibar. Ooh, that's nice. Not again. Naomi. What's happening? I can't believe how good the sound design in this game is. Incredible shit. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted Dr. him Dr. Clark is paramedic. Got it. And they kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Nope. Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But he God, the expressions are insanely good, huh? The question is, why? From what I could tell... Twin Snakes doesn't have that. Who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. That but little scrunch face wants. right there. Death Stranding doesn't have that. Bacon I'll Monk, thanks for being a 24 month there. Congrats on two years. Hurt me more. Are you one of them? <laughs> no, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. <laughs> Are you an otaku too, he says? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Your uniform is different than theirs. <laughs> You're the Metal Gear chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Meryl. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. <laughs> There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all... This voice actor is good, too. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> you know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking death mobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. 
No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. What do you think they use that railgun for, bro? A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? I actually really like this performance. Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired all <laughs> Look at that stance! Missiles, <laughs> they already have all the practical data they need. He's just fucking chilling now. No. Could it be? Casual snake. Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? <laughs> Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th. 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. Love you better shit, hurry. Dude. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you, I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. <laughs> if you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <laughs> uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? 
Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad but what? All. What's the but? Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! Ooh. Oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! It's like three frames of animation. It was so nice though. A little extra, like one extra flame, frame wrong. of uh, did hair you hear droop. Something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She, she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She has such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. <laughs> really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? What a way to phrase that. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. We're getting up there. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> you're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. <laughs> and Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan animation. <laughs> Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Does that work? Frequency 141.12. See you later. <laughs> you know what's funny? Like, so me having no anime awareness, I just assume that like Police Knots is some like legit cool franchise. Otacon was supposed to leave rations for you in a spot in this room when you call him, but it was an idea they removed from the final game. Okay, cool to know. Um, Abopo, thanks for being a 40 monther. Good morning back at you. Happy holidays back at you. <laughs> this is a quote from Shinkawa. When I draw, I always suck in a breath and hold it. Then when I take my pen off the paper, I let it out with a big sigh. And Kojima always gets mad at me and tells me stop sighing like that. It's a good quote. Yeah, we gotta do some calls. Looks like you've rescued Emmerich for the time being. Yeah, with that stealth camouflage, he should be able to hide safely. Gray Fox. I can't believe it. But the real problem is your niece. The way the codec got cut off like that has me worried. Something must have happened to her. You're worried about Meryl? 
Not exactly. It's just that she's holding the detonation code override keys. They're our last chance of stopping that nuclear launch. You're a cold man. Your mission is more important than the life of your companions? This is war. Survival is the name of the game. Sometimes you have to be cold to survive. Yes, but... Snake, either way, I want you to find Meryl as soon as possible. I understand. I understand. I don't know if that was a suspicious call. Didn't Meryl say that she's somewhere close by? Why don't you start by searching in that building? I, can I get a no-no? I tried to buy something just now from a website. I get a lot from frequently from a user that has a lot of positive reviews in many years, but I got scammed after paying. No response. Yeah, something's up. No, no. Something's up with that. All right, so chat, um, help me out a little bit with uh, some Gray Fox lore. What is he doing here? Break after the calls? Maybe like in another half hour, I think, for another break. We're way off our schedule for break times. I'm, 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 I'm staggered in a bad way. Meryl's a character in Police Knots, so and she's basically the same. Um, what's he doing here? Closure? Okay, I could buy closure. So he's he's being sincere. When he says hurt me more, kill me, hurt me, I'm just here to settle this. I'm here to finish this. It's not like he's got some grand scheme. He really knows where Solid Snake is and wants to die. Noxion 8K, thanks for being a four month there. Let me know if I pronounced that completely incorrectly. He only wants to fight Snake to the death. And yet, though, he still has these moments of clarity where he's like, Snake, look out. There's some mines out there. Otacon said that now it's possible to design and test new types of nuclear weapons in a virtual simulation without ever exploding a nuclear device. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Since the establishment of DART and NIF early in the 21st century, there has been a wealth of data concerning nuclear fission and fusion. There is also much data accumulated from the nuclear tests conducted over the last four decades. With the processing speed of today's supercomputers, they can design a new nuclear weapon through virtual reality computer simulations. Why is it virtual reality? Why do you go? I don't explain that aspect of it to me, chat. Yeah, those are toys, no doubt. The monitor didn't survive. I don't think there's a way to save that monitor. So cool looking, dude. Love that shit. Love that chunky controller. Because that's like, they really legitimately have to worry about polygon count, right? Every detail comes at a cost. <laughs> Gray Fox is Shinkawa's favorite character he's designed. I mean, yeah. That's some timeless uh, character design. VR is cool. Chad, imagine strapping on a little VR headset to like design a nuclear weapon. Holy shit.
That camera doesn't move. No, it does not. Got it. Night vision in here. Okay. Just about to switch back! Damn. Damn. Uh, hospital water, missed that. Heck, Hal, it's my birthday tomorrow. I hope you and every- oh shit. I hope you hear everyone here have a great holiday and new year. Thank you for those bits. Happy birthday, hospital water. VR is used in industrial design? Tell me more, chat. Tell me more. No, 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 don't just do a dot, dot, dot. Don't just do that shit. Tell me more. Educate me. Obviously, we should do this one first if this is the one that has the gas mask in it. I wasn't thinking. I was being stupid. There we go. What's crazy though is it's like a uh, collective oxygen, right? So the gas mask doesn't fill it back up. Wow, I, I even love how this room sounds, you know? Isn't this nuts? We'll come back with more uh, key card access. More doors to open. <laughs> yeah, we were definitely still draining our O2. <laughs> Absolute stupid details. Really good shit. When did we get a silencer for the SOCOM? I missed that. <laughs> Can you do pull-ups in this one? No. You cannot hang from a ledge. We can open this door now. New cardboard box. Oh my gosh, this audio. Holy shit. Ominous. This music. Ooh. Oh my god. Was that music? It was when you choked that guy that was sleeping. Oh, okay. Man, yeah, I haven't even used it. Yeah, maybe we gotta bait her into going to the bathroom. Oh shit. Yeah. 
One second too late, bro. One second too late. They cornered me like a couple of Pac-Man ghosts. No, 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 no. Don't just say VR, AR, and industrial design and link a YouTube link. Come on now. You think I'm going to just pause the stream and be like, yeah, let me just, let me just watch this little VR, AR, industrial design video. Hold on a second, chat. Let me watch this vid. Bro, you asked. Yeah, for information. <laughs> oh boy, this is a popular bathroom. Check my previous comments. I worked R&D division of a car company. We had a VR room that people would look at, the 3D models for cars and such. But generally, the engineers didn't like it or use it. Yeah, that sounds like way to me. You can hear the guy using the urinal. Sure enough. It's so cold here in Alaska. You can see the steam coming off that pee. I linked a video by McLaren that showed how they use it. Yeah, it sounds like promotional shit to me, chat. You know what I mean? Fuck off. God damn it. <laughs> no, you don't know what I mean? You think that video is entirely sincere? That somebody, somebody, somebody just made like a, hey, we love VR. VR has increased our output dramatically. So I decided to make a video about it. We here at McLaren are making this video purely out of, here we go, here we go, here we go. the interest in spreading the goodwill of VR in corporate design. <laughs> Want a paragraph of text from some website? No, no, no. <laughs> what would convince you? Somebody saying that like, I do it. Somebody saying like, yeah, at my office, yeah, they use VR all the time. I don't have personal experience in industrial design, but in architecture, VR is helpful for designers to help their clients visualize a final product before millions of dollars are spent on it. Chat, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% I get that. In the context of this video game, they were saying they use VR to design nuclear weapons. You're talking about extremely practical applications. <laughs> You're like, yeah, actually, like there's some video game designers who make VR games and they use VR headsets all the time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, here we go. We actually, we do have someone in chat who used VR to design nuclear weapons. You should quit that. You should quit that job. So, okay. All right, all right, all right, chat. Here's basically... It's like... I... Well, like, imagine, like... Imagine if you, like, 
you design just toasters, okay? Let's imagine you like design toasters and you're like inside the VR realm and you're like expand, contract. So you're like -da 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 -da, expand. And now I'm like inside the toaster and I'm like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. this is what I want to imagine. <laughs> contract, okay? I'm looking at my little toaster, expand. I'm inside the toaster again. I'm cranking this thing. That's what I want to believe. Snick, that is a woman's bathroom. You should not be in there. But I saw Meryl go in here. Even so, Snick. Even this so. Is our only chance to talk alone together. I was sure she was in here. It's obvious to me they mean simulation, not VR headset. They mean physics sim. I think you're right. I think virtual reality has somehow just meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that, chat. Snake, that's a lady's bathroom. I know that. So <laughs> good delivery. Here. So you went in after her? Are you some kind of pervert? I won't let you save your mission now. Listen, Mei Ling, this is the only place on the base that I can talk to Meryl alone. Whatever, weirdo. Don't call me again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those were worth it, chat. Those are worth it. Oh, no response. Chat said the mirrors work in this room. Holy shit, they do. Would you look at that? He even turns his head. Now, I do think this is most likely a fake mirror, right? I think we're just doubling the room. I believe it's actually loading an identical snake character model. That's no reflection. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Chat confirms. This is a full copy of the room. That's, that's nice. Really good effect. Could any of the women in chat tell me what this is? <laughs> what, what am I looking at here? <laughs> Makeup area with no mirrors? Makeup touch up, okay. Yeah, they like got little like uh little trash cans down there too. God, that's such a funny thing. What a weird design. This music right now, dude. Huh? Meryl. Where'd you go? Don't move. <laughs> Does Elden Ring have any bathrooms? Good question. I can't think of one. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no You're Meryl? Why do you say so that? Feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. 
When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. <laughs> Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. <laughs> the truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? <laughs> huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. That's so you embarrassing, Meryl. Heroes. Paint there tattoo? There are no heroes in war. <laughs> All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. <laughs> this dialogue is fucked all over, you're right. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. The battlefield. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be, be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. He's such a tough guy. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. Huh? I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This Shit, is a training snake. exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? <laughs> Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm Damn. more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. <laughs> if we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open. <sighs> It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. 
Okay, easy. We got our plan. This should be simple. So cool. If you stare at Meryl in first person, her skin tone will change to pink, then red, as she is blushing. It takes like 40 to 50 seconds. We're going to spare her from that on this stream. <laughs> That's strange. There's no guard. <laughs> what happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Are there any other women on this base? Well, it's weird. It's like, uh... An arms tech building, right? A lot of the people who worked here uh, aren't here today, I think, right? Whenever the revolt happened, it's like, you know... There was a whole office where Otacon was working. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. Are you okay? What happened? I'm fine. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. What an, what an audio effect, dude. I fucking love that. Oh, shit. That's freaky. Oh my god, the reflections are so nice in here. So I wonder if these are fake reflections too. Is that the case? Where it's like a 50% opacity floor and the polygons actually just continue downward? Yeah, that's how they do that. Cool. Really nice effect. is just playing around, bro. I love this shit. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Uh... Nastasha, is that really what I should do? Meryl is definitely not herself. Could Meryl. she be drugged? Meryl is definitely not herself. Could she be drugged? Yeah, so Ch Chad's talking about how good this voice director is, right? Yeah, like at least somebody was in the room to say, like, I think it's supposed to be drugged. 
Don't say dragged, okay? <laughs> I guess I should pick up rations while I can too, huh? Useless woman. Up to camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You You doubt my power. You don't have to hit her? is completely clean. Oh, we didn't save enough. Oh, I forgot he does more of this stuff. That's cool. Play adventures. <laughs> hmm. Your memory is completely clean. Hmm. You have not said it often. You are somewhat reckless. True enough. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. This shit's cool as hell. Put your control on the floor. Put it down as fast as you can. Here you go, chat. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. What do you think now? <laughs> it's cool as shit, bro. <laughs> it's so cool. Worked on me the first time. Worked on me. When did I get knocked over? When did that happen? Fuck, I threw that in front of me. Fair. No, that's fair. I got into I got into your furniture. That's not hurting him at all, dude. Damn. Yeah, we should call our friends. No doubt. Sure does. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer, and he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that, he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. Love this guy. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. Um. It's psychic assaults 
I wonder if I switched controller slots too early. He took zero damage from those grenades. Psychics range in power from those who can bend spoons to those who can cause natural disasters. But Psychomantis is one of the most powerful. Be careful. We're calling Spoonbender Psychics in this game? Really? Dookie Shoes. Thanks for being a 14-monther. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that's why I'm fucking... God damn it. No, no, no. Okay. Controller settings. Get off digital. There we go. And then, yeah, I think chat was right also that uh, it does not pause the game when you bring up that menu. Okay, we did five damage. We at least got five damage in there. against oh Take him out. Don't take the trade. Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? Meryl, please don't shoot me. Meryl, please don't. Please don't shoot me. God damn it, Meryl. I believe him. Meryl, stand right where he can see you and blow your brains out. Ah! Stop, Meryl! I don't remember what to do for this part. Shit. Nastasha will know. But Psychomantis is one of the most. Stun grenade? I walked right into that one. The game's done giving me ammo. There we go. Fuck. Cheap shot, cheap shot.
Damn, he goes away fast. It's faster than the cyborg ninja. Look at the bottom left hand corner chat. Come on now. You gotta work on your UI literacy. I wonder if Tut Tut Tat works on him. Let's try beating him up. Try um a stun. Not a lot of damage from that. There's some ammo, there's some ammo. I'm a ammo, hell yeah. That didn't work. Yeah. Got ammo though. So fast. Yeah. Oh, shit. No thermies. I do not have thermal goggles. God, he goes way too fast. Night visions, but no thermies. Maybe if I smoke, we can see him. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, right game. Yeah, right game. Come on now. Can you shoot him when he throws? I think I'm gonna have to. I'm obviously scared of his projectile, which moves really fast. You normally we like trade. I don't think I can cancel his throw. You can, hell yeah. Oh shit, he's doing a new thing now. Oh my god. Shit. Yep, you got me with a vase. This is how we do it. Mucho got into that one. is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? <laughs> yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe Shut it's up, because Naomi. you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. She's right about me. I'm a piece of shit. So, you used the other. <laughs> I, I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I'll read your future. <laughs> Metal Gear. 
this underground maintenance base. You have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overhang route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. <laughs> oh, come on, man! <laughs> that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish an atavistic desire atavistic on one seed it was enough to make me sick every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their dna we designed that way and that's why there is war but you you are different you're the same as us we have no past no future we live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. Capitalized boss there. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. <laughs> much time left. <laughs> I've seen true evil. Snake's got no right, bro. <laughs> Snake, you're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I... Do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Okay. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. <laughs> I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. <laughs> And all I did was shove a door over it for us, a little bookcase. <laughs> kind of nice. Now, 
No fox die. It seems like he just died because we shot him with Let's bullets go, a lot. Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Damn. Oh, no, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any <laughs> No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. for. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Meryl leveled up, too. All right, we can take a break there. That's a good spot for a break. I did. There we go. Hello? This shit again. Every time, bro. That was a tough fight. I barely made it out of that one alive. I think, yeah, I think we did lose a lot of health early on through me s swapping through PS3 menus and struggling with that. No doubt. This is kind of funny. Like, uh, this is not well conceived, but we'll be here. There will be a sequence at these towers. Fest. What a cool room, dude. Presence. That's what I'm talking about. There's Kenneth Baker. In Twin Snakes, they changed it to, like, Kojima's face, somebody from Nintendo, and then that guy from Silicon Knights. Right? Do I like Suikoden? No, my memory was completely clean. Dennis Dyack. Good memory. There was no way I could have pulled that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dennis Dyack was in one of those photographs. And then chat's like, yeah, Twin Snakes is the good shit. That's the new canon. No, I'm never streaming Twin Snakes. Two humans own. What's he do now? What's he do now? Dennis Dioc had too much clout to just be gone now. Web3 games, you're not serious. Dennis Dioc. What are you up to, buddy? Oh, do you remember they had like a Kickstarter for a spiritual successor to um uh what was that game called? The horror game. Eternal Darkness. Shadow of the Eternals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, there's ongoing litigation between Silicon Knights and Epic Games. Uh-oh. 
Shadow of the Eternals was launched on Kickstarter twice. The first was in June 2013. It was canceled when the controversy started pouring in. The second Kickstarter was launched in August of 2013 for $750,000. So it failed both of its Kickstarter campaigns, leading to the project being placed on a definite hold. Okay. In late 2014, Dayak announced the formation of Quantum Entanglement Entertainment with the aim of restarting production of Shadow of the Eternals, as well as potentially expanding the IP into movies and television. And then in January of 2018, Quantum Entanglement Entertainment was quietly shut down and production of Shadow of the Eternals was put on hold. Dayak announced his new company, Apocalypse Studios, and with it, a new free-to-play role-playing game for PC titled Dead House Sonata. TBA on that one. <laughs> Not canceled yet. No, I mean, NFTs are Web3, chat. Is this real? It is real. Okay, I'm so sorry, chat. Typically, when you just say like, oh yeah, that person's just doing NFTs now, that's like a joke, right? No, this is real. Apocalypse NFO. Beyond NFTs. Okay, chat, 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 chat. They're going beyond NFTs. Don't take it at face value. And there he is, Dennis Dyack. NFTs are the receipt only, not the product, okay? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's just so weird, chat. Like, basically, like, when I was, like, starting off in video games, right? There's just some people who were huge, who had this clout that you didn't quite understand. Uh, and now it's just, like lost it's all gone <laughs> there's something kind of vindicating about that right um so anyway dennis dyack who is on one of those photographs on twin snakes the gamecube version of metal gear solid he's just doing nft stuff now languishing two human in the x-men game did that I like that X-Men game. Don't blame that X-Men game. <laughs> Considering Itagaki and Inafune ended up doing NFTs, it seems a pretty safe bet that they probably are doing NFTs. It happened to a lot of people, yeah. Chat thinks your controller might be back on digital? What'd I do? No, no, no. We're back. We're back, baby. It, it has been flip-flopping, no doubt. It has been flip-flopping a lot, and I don't understand why, but we're good. We're good now. All right, uh, so we'll take a quick break. Chat, when we get back, uh, we got to figure out a good ending point for tonight. What is the halfway point of Metal Gear Solid, and can we get there tonight? Sakurai NFTs win. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Uh, if Sakurai creates NFTs, they will be good. You know what I'm saying? If Sakurai makes NFTs, <laughs> we're all going to start wanting them. <laughs> it's dead. No, the halfway point is not Sniper Wolf's second fight. There's like nothing after that. Disc two is not the halfway point, no. Yeah, Sakurai NFTs would just, you know, it would uplift the entire industry. It's like, oh, okay, now we actually have to start taking those seriously. Tabata is also doing NFT stuff. That's a bummer. 
I think like I think like he came out and was like more open about like why he left Square Enix and it was not to go make NFT games. But I think Chad, I think like a reality of like game development is if you're the studio, if you're this creator, right? The people who are paying, the people who are funding projects are the people who are interested in NFTs. So I think like they're in this position where the only way they can get a studio together, the only way they can make a game is by pitching to people who like perk up when they hear the word NFT. So like, I get it. You know, I like, I get the position they're in. <laughs> Kyle, I shiny hunted Oshawa. Instead of a single Oshawa, I got a shiny quillfish. Honestly, that's a plus. Cause I think you're forgetting what Oshawa becomes. <laughs> No, nah, yeah, I mean, we obviously we do want, we want to be more than halfway through, so we'll figure it out. But uh, tomorrow's stream will be going over time too, no doubt. <laughs> Have you seen those shiny N Mega Man NFTs Capcom is selling? Yeah, excuse me, you said shitty and not shiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they're based off the mobile games, so you have to presume it's just like that team doing it, you know. We had a super late start to today to today's stream too. So I think we'll be good. We're doing good. We're on a good pace. Um all right. So anyway, we'll take a quick break. Uh when we get back, we're going to we're going to make some real progress. Of course, we'll call Nastasha in any given moment, but yeah. We'll be good. Capcom NFTs are just licenses to third parties though. Yeah, I think I think that's kind of right. It's like, yeah, they are absolutely profiting off of it. They are lending out their IP to these people who are making NFTs out of it. So that's very stupid. Uh but it's not like that like Square Enix level of like we believe this is the path forward for our company. It's not like that. <laughs> yeah, there's there's those Street Fighter NFTs. I remember those. Anyway, uh, see you really soon, chat, on the other side.
nice tune. Welcome back, chat. Welcome back in. Reminders to you. A few things going on on the old Robot Party Discord. Uh, we're going to do the Toxic Fantasy League again this year. Um, that is uh, fantasycritic.com. That's where uh, it's a fantasy competition for creating a video game publisher that is making the worst reviewed games of the year. And uh, yeah, it is highly competitive, I would have to say. Slicey, thanks for those bits. I'd say like anyone who gets at least like second place is probably really good at that. Um, we'll rev we'll talk about that in January about the new season, but for now, uh, there's like a a form to uh, give any feedback if you were a competitor this year, even if you're just like interested. Get if you want to if you want to see some changes in the new year, check that out. Um, also, we are now accepting submissions for the docket. Um, if like this year we played Radiata Stories, right? That's a game I had zero awareness of, but the wheels spun to Radiata Stories. We read a submission from, I think several people on that one actually, about why it would be a good game to stream. We streamed it. It was a good game to stream. So basically that's the process. People sending in games that they think would be a good game and randomly spinning the wheel to, uh, read those submissions. So that form is also live. And then finally, chat stupid choice awards on January 1st. We will recap all the streams that happened in 2023. And part of that will be chat honoring the characters and moments that uh, stood out the most. Currently have 99 docket submissions and 100 award votes. That is so crazy. That's really, really crazy. That chat, that's good. For a community of our size. That's uh that's pretty good. Wow, look at the presence of this room, dude. This has been a good playthrough so far. Obviously a lot of this dialogue does not hold up. But uh this video game. Ooh, very, very nice itself holds TF up. <laughs> Who would win in a fight, a snake or a wolf and an octopus? Obviously it depends on um the domain. Could there be wolves in there? But I'm giving wolf it to wolf. Dogs. Half wolf, half husky. Wolf dogs. <laughs> so much. I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. Heroes keep. Thanks for gifting that gift so. Wolf I'll dogs. Snake, you follow me. Half wolf, half dog. You're going to spin the wheel for which ending we do. Oh, you know what? I wasn't going to. I was going to be too proud of my mashing skills, and I was going to mash it out. But I think we all know it needs to be done. <laughs> so cool, dude. <laughs> Kyle has more of a problem than chat does. I love the wheel. I love that damn wheel. I said Otacon for cannon. Yeah, but then the wheel was brought up. <laughs> I downloaded Fortnite on Switch so I don't have to bring my PS5 up for the holidays. Have I seen it? Ready for Switch 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had some rough times. It fucking crashed. The Switch simply cannot handle the train. They added a train to the Fortnite map, and the Switch has no idea what to do. It's like, bro, there's there's too much physics happening right now. I, I can't. <laughs> fucking crashed. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, oh, I got wolf spotted. I definitely missed the roll. Ow. Ow, ow. <laughs> okay. 
I thought that was a wall. That's on me. Oh, shit. Chat, I'm gonna have, I'm about to shoot some wolf dogs. Oh, we can do four rations now? Hell yeah. Otacon, give me a ration. Sorry, snake. I actually can't do that. Shit. That's brutal, wolves. You're being brutal. You're being brutal. Quit your shit. Give me some iframes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Quit this shit. I did forget to get that art book. Is there another tunnel I'm missing? This fucking sucks, bro. <laughs> I'm just fucking punching dogs. There we go. There we go. <laughs> What's your least favorite Metal Gear Solid boss fight? This one right there. Just punching a bunch of dogs in the snout. <laughs> Snake, Way too dark to what it should I look originally? I mean, that's how I remember it. What's the point in night vision goggles, Chad, if you, if you can just see in the dark? Um, you know what I think we can do is put on a cardboard box and make them pee on it, right? Is that right? Punch Meryl and then quickly get in the box. I'm afraid we can't do that, chat. But I do think that's correct. I think that is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> do I think Smash should make Miyamoto a playable character in the next Smash Bros? No. And in fact, I think they should remove Mii's. <laughs> My number one request for uh, Smash Bros. is a reduction in roster. I want them to take characters out of that game. Oh, I meant to call Master Miller after killing um, Psycho Mantis. I'm sorry I missed that. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me. Do a roster chop down stream? Hell yeah. That'd be fun. Shit, Meryl. So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? You could walk in a straight line to the north of your position and not hit any mines. Right here? Good shit, chat. Wow. Meryl, 
Don't worry, Meryl. She did fuck up. Even I know that. It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Full metal jacket. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. No. My gun. No. I can't reach it by myself. Don't move. I promised. I will slow you down. I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Get out of here. Why is this also the best musical direction of any Metal Gear Solid Meryl. game? Damn. Snake, it's a trap. A sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm going to save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You've got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You're trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. This is actually pretty fucking nuts. We gotta go. We gotta go get a sniper rifle. If we tried to fight there, we die. I think that is so cool. There's a series of seven calls if you keep shooting Meryl, ending with Campbell yelling Snake has gone insane. We're not going to shoot Meryl. <laughs> you tried to fight there your first time? Me too. Several attempts. That's a wolf dog. Look at that down there. Is that a shortcut or a dead end? Shortcut? Diazepam. We'll be needing that shit. So it's a dead end, but that was worth it. A worthy dead end. We needed more rations, no doubt. Oh! 
<laughs> You're not even gonna shoot Meryl once? No, chat. Ooh, I thought I'd get it with that kick. I was out of range. I'm so lost again. Damn. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nope. So there's a cave to the south. Yep, yep, yep. There's a cave somewhere down here. I think that's it. That is it. Here we go. Okay. Not too bad. You know what I mean? Not worth punching Meryl for so we get a little pee box. So we're going all the way to the back to the first base, huh? Shit. This is sad. This design decision is legitimately bad. Uh, I appreciate the anxiety it creates. <laughs> I guess maybe maybe it'd be cooler if the sniper rifle was in this building, right? But yeah, so like it, I mean, it is backtracking, right? But it's also like uh, high anxiety backtracking. You know, Meryl's just bleeding out back there. Thanks for the bullets, bro. This room is cool, too. Most possible polygons in any PlayStation environment, somehow. Yeah, now we can get some thermal glasses. Yeah. That's what the game calls them glasses. That wasn't my mistake. <laughs> okay, cameras. Sheesh. The gun cameras are scary. Maybe, uh, mine D, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got a little lucky there. Shit. A mine D. By stalking. <laughs> the way he described that, dude. You know what? We should call Master Miller right now. Master. Sound travels better in cold environments. If you're going to use a handgun, you should equip a suppressor. Thanks for the tip, Master. Why the PS3 version? I was not liking the audio on the PlayStation 5 version. And to Chad's credit, 
I was warned. Chat was like, uh, hey man, the PS5 version's got issues. The audio is bugged. And I was like, yeah, right, chat. You're so particular and picky about everything. You stupid chat, I said. How bad could the audio possibly be? And I fuck it. We like it was like the first cutscene. It was the submarine. I think the lasers are off. I'm just smoking to look cool now. Did we ever get a cookies and cream for that? All right. Is it really all of you, chat? Did all of you say that? Oh my gosh. Fine. Here's your cookies. You got to pay Did we get a cookies and cream for that? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, chat? It was a bad plan. It was a bad plan. It was a bad plan. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. God damn it. It was a bad plan. They heard the explosion. They heard the explosion, it turns out. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. All right, game. What song is Cookies and Cream from? What do you think that song is called? What do you think the name of that song is? So it sounds like any explosion anywhere will just th throw you into full alert. I think you can just crawl in this one. That's right.
Uh, um, chat's pointing out we could go... We could go down here and get some, uh, the camera now. <laughs> Buddy Holly. No, that's not Buddy Holly. Uh, chat, the more I play of, uh... I wonder why I can't use my Nikita in here. Fortnite's music mode? The more poorly conceived it seems to me. I didn't stagger those well. Can't get in that one yet. For instance, you can't press left and right on your D-pad at the same time. Ed Wayne, thanks for being a 27-monther. So, like, there's, like, certain button combos that, like, you, like it simply will never come up because you're using a controller. But then, like, uh, when they expect you to hit, like, repeated chords, so imagine hitting, like, left and circle at the same time. Just that, 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 that. It just sucks. It doesn't feel good to do. But yes, I bet it is making bank. Those songs are not cheap. This guy's nasty. And I think that's the guy protecting the thing we need. Is it possible to kill him with a silencer without going into alert mode, I wonder? I found the song. It's titled Cookies and Cream. Yeah! Was it not apparent? <laughs> yeah, the name of the song is Cookies and Cream! Do plastic instruments work in it? No, but I think they've kind of they kind of teased that they uh, they're gonna make plastic instruments happen. All right. <laughs> I've never really dabbled with the uh, ghost shit. It might be fun to try at least one. Fuck off. God damn it, dude. God damn it. Yeah, you saw me. You saw me and I know you saw me. Fair and square. Uh-huh. You saw me. I bumped into you. Who's out here? use a silencer. So unfortunately the guy I killed was replaced. Hey, that works. That's the good shit. Uh oh, watch your watch your toes. Okay. My toes, my toes. Yes. We're coming, Meryl. What? What? You got a PSG one. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. I know. <laughs> Well, okay. You know what, Kyle? It's called PSG1. It's not... Oh, fuck. Yeah, right, dude. Show me. Show me. Show me. 
show me. That's baloney, bro. <laughs> is there an easy mode? There is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if you're meant to walk through that first one. Yeah, but you definitely have to crawl for the second one. Watch your fucking elbow, snake. God damn it. <laughs> well, we definitely don't need to be smoking cigarettes right now. Nah. <laughs> nah. I actually, I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and say nah. No, 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 I actually don't think so. I actually don't think game, I don't think you earned that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'd touch and fucked any, fucking touched any of your lasers. I don't think so though, I don't think so. <laughs> no, 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 I actually don't think so. <laughs> There's some diazepam behind the barrel. Cool. More bullets. Worth it, though. I'm not taking any questions at this time. Why is there two guys in that one hallway? There we go. No questions, please. Oh, of course not yet. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we might be able to get, like, a ration or something here, though, dude. I'm kind of strapped for resources. Hell yeah. So tasty. Yeah, so it is kind of crazy. Like, a lot of the fundamentals of this game were established in the early MSX games, you know? Even just like healing from rations. And when we talk about how like I don't mind hopping into a franchise midway. I mean like this is the begin this is the first game for most people, you know? And so like uh the background lore isn't like what? Like I'm just supposed to fucking know who Gray Fox is? How am I supposed to care who this guy is? I have never, never heard of him before. You know what I mean? It's not like that. <laughs> no camera in here, seemingly. It just feels like a, a world that has existed before the day that you stepped into it. And I think that's kind of nice. What, I gotta, I gotta buy an MSX console that I've never even fucking heard of before to follow this entire franchise? I think we should kill this guy. Because I'm not good at stalking.
Ooh, two shots. Good shit, Snake. Thermal goggle. Hell yeah. Ooh, go, go, go. Scoot, scoot, scoot. All right, I actually think this area is clear now. Chat's saying doing this makes it so I don't make any stomping sounds. <laughs> I'll take the stomping sounds, bro. Wow, look at this game. So advanced, bro. Where's that guy? There he is. You can't do this on PlayStation 1. You can't actually do this. Uh oh. Don't look up. Don't look up. Phew. Whew. Okay. Moving on. Free mine or free claymores out here. Might as well take them. I knew Kyle was hyped for Left Alive for a bit. I was. Oh, we're full. Came in and carry more. A lot of that was Yoji Shinkawa. Nice key art. So it looks like there are more treasures to the right, but I don't think there's any like in one time treasures, you know what I mean? No essentials. Is that the Smash Bros level? Uh the Smash Bros level doesn't really take place anywhere. I think I think it's meant to uh give you the feeling of that first area more than anything. Sorry, the area above that first elevator. No jokes. Shit, 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 go, go, go. Whew. Uh, is there any reason actually to go to the offices? Do I have any access to anything special with my level five card or should we go save Meryl's life? <laughs> you ever played Dream Mix TV, Kyle? It has an MGS1 snake in the roster? No. Probably just loot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything, it's probably a cardboard box B or something. I, I think we should. We should. We should go save Meryl's life. Can I get no ya for just finishing my 2024 fantasy draft and getting a really good lineup? Already? Actually, I guess a lot of leagues, basically, the end of the season is... Um... Game Awards. So, yeah, you can get all you yeah, for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do 
Huge. Getting a nice collection of rations together. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. We're gonna need those. Am I still in fantasy playoffs? No, I deleted the app this week. I got out round one. And it was because I gave up on Jared Goff. And so I'm like super bitter about it. If I started him, we would have been fine. Actually, that's kind of nicer to look at than the green. I don't know, Snake. It kind of seemed like you went out of your way to punch that dog. Shit. I need the night visions. No, you're there. Damn. So close. Yeah, he got five TDs last weekend. This dog is anxious. I understand, little one. Me too. Let's go, bub. This is fucking crazy. Yeah, dude, this is it. Uh, Nastasha, what do I do? Get on your stomach. Fire from the prone position. It would be good if you had a tripod or something stable to balance your weapon on. If you do not have that, hold the weapon firmly under your armpit and keep it still with your chin. Line up your target in your scope's crosshairs. Most soldiers can hit a target at 300 meters. I have a friend who can hit one at 520 meters. I have a friend. To be a good sniper, you must have nerves of steel and lots of patience. Sometimes you have to sit in position for days, barely moving a muscle. The most important thing is to wait for your opportunity and then take it. The end. A slight tremor in your hand can cause you to miss a target 60 meters away by a half a foot or more. Concentrate. Hold your breath and try to stop your hand from moving. This music, dude. The most important thing is to zero your right scope. If you do not zero your sight correctly, you will never be able to hit your target. What does that mean? Your sight might be slightly off, so it would be a good idea to try a test shot. No! If it is off, you will have to take some lead for that when you shoot. Oh my gosh. Don't worry. This was Sniper Wolf's rifle. Ah, in that case, you had better not mess with it. Got it. <laughs> Is this a blind playthrough? No, 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 no. We've been here. Um, I think we could probably do... Oh, I'm, like, out of stuns, bro. Oh, that's funny. You can't even, um... Equip it without lying down. How much diazepam do we have? Three. Anti-anxiety drug. Temporarily stops involuntary trembling. Let's go, bub. Oh, shit. Fuck. 
Uh oh, the diazepam's off. Uh oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know about that, Sniper Wolf. I think you shot me while you were running. Heal up, Snake. Um, this is a really well-designed room in that, uh, yeah, you get, you get thrown off when, yeah, that was my last bullet too. You get thrown off, right? But it's pretty easy to find your way back because of the way that all the lines lead straight back to, uh, Sniper Wolf. Really, really cool. Is this normal difficulty? Yeah. Your streamer is normally skilled. One of my favorite Campbell calls is if you shoot some of the rats on top of the platform where Wolf was before. Okay, all right, let's do it. There they are, there they are. So calm. I can't look up more. Shit. Stupid rats. They're good. Fucking rat! God damn it! <laughs> Fucking rats! God damn it! Their their movement is so sporadic. Okay. And then actually, there's actually like time for the bullet to travel too. I don't know why I tried that one. Okay, we tried. <laughs> Discord Fantasy Football Championship is this weekend. The number one seed Miguelito faces off against the Killer Priest, who is actually currently projected to win. Cool. The number one seed. Honestly, always feels pretty nice to delete the fantasy app. All right, so now we're going to go uh, hear Sniper Wolf's sad story as she dies. I'm going to spread Fox Die to Sniper Wolf. Huh. She's not here. Okay, she probably... She's probably through this door. Don't move! Uh-oh. It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. You are a fool to come back here. Stupid man. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? <laughs> wow. Didn't you know that two-thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? Like, that's a stat I believe. Do now? I don't give a shit. I believe that. Your female friend. Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. Good delivery I'm on that, too. Wolf, and I always kill what I aim at. 
Oh, you're my special prey. Got it. Oh, I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I think about. Take him away. All right, so because we didn't save in a super long time, the stakes are high. Can you hear me, Solid Snake? <laughs> He's tougher than I thought. If the wheel says we have to survive, who I am, I always knew that one day do or die. I would meet you. <laughs> the man who stole what was rightly mine. The man who stole my birthright. Me, I'm the man you stole everything good from. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, after. finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. I'll show you the brother. Your body is strapped down tight. Do you need his DNA too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. It's never gonna get that DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a curd? They curd. always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. Sniper Wolf's voice actor is better than I remember. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? Oof, those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first one in 10 hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're going to launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got Snake is killing him right now. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Want to stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. It's just spreading so you his disease. Your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, <laughs> his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. <laughs> 
Torture? This is an interrogation. As you wish. See you later, brother. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Catch you later, handsome. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. <laughs> the was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone I like that sometimes they just talk to the video game scared, player, you know? Uh, carrier boy. <laughs> so, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, that's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Strange line of questioning there. Wolf must have been feeling generous. But if you want her to stay that way, you better start answering my questions right now. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. We're going to play a game, Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. He means that shit. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about I actually using fucking love that. Fire, or I'll know. <laughs> Snake. It's been a long time since you saved your game. <laughs> he fucking knows! What? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game over. You really want to travel down that long road again? Come on, I won't tell. It's been Why a long don't time. You just give up. I'm going to run a high voltage electric. I think we'd have to kill Psycho Mantis again. It's if been it's that just long. For a short time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, here gonna we do MGS2 go. next. I definitely I definitely want to. I mean not next, right? I like to take pauses in between games that we're playing. Oh shit, you can't even start. We can't even spin the wheel. Fuck this. Shit. How did you like that? Shall we go again? I thought we'd have some time to, like, make a choice here, chat. Shit. Had enough yet? <laughs> We're not finished yet. Damn. No, I'm not fast enough. You still okay? Want me to go on? Can you take one more? Shit. Shit. 
Shit, dude, shit. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. Okay. You're the boss's brother, all right. That's phase Your one. brother, he's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a hind helicopter? The Les Enfants Terribles project was not a total failure. The what? He is the one man one thing he doesn't ask about. my dream into a reality. <laughs> Rhombus thinks of being a 41 month third. We can save now, though, right? Huh? Looks like I got a roommate. <laughs> Great line. The DARPA you can? Oh, okay, cool. I don't give a shit then. Whew. <laughs> what a stench. My clothes. That witch, he says. Uh, I actually can't save right now, chat. Oh, there we go. Snake, are you okay? I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. Uh, I've been through a lot worse. Believe, Believe me. me. Wow, you really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us any time. It's always nice to hear that you're all right. Just vibrating my earbuds. Why do you contact the colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. I don't give a shit what that man has to say. He's always lying to me. Huge save there, chat. Huge Please, save. Snake, don't give up. That feels nice. All right, now let's see what the wheel has to say. And remember, the way the wheel works is it tells you what we're not going to be doing. Well, only in this instance. So if you hear the evil laugh, that's what that means. Here we go. Let's go wheel. It is eliminating. The wheel is currently eliminating one of these two options. Ooh, with this music on top of it. Will it clear submit? Oh, this is gonna come close. I don't think it has the speed to clear submit. Shit. Smash or death, chat. Meryl wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Otacon loses. Granted, Otacon still lives. It's not like he dies, but like he doesn't get a nice little ride out of there. All right, so we got a mash. So be it. Infinite ammo. What the hell are you doing? He saw me sneak in. Good Naomi call where the Music changes if you call Campbell? All right, I doubt it. Snake, are you okay? 
have been better. How's Mera? They've got her. Damn. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the president had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the president and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the Start 3 Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified Start 2 or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the president's reputation and America's place as the dominant superpower. <laughs> so patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. It's why one shit, dude. Because you're the only one who can. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see... Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the genome army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Snake has poor media Should literacy. Prevent it. it seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that Arms Tech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. Sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. <laughs> I'm in jail right also, now, boss. <laughs> right. I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. No music changed. The guard is only human. He has to sleep and go to the bathroom like the rest of us. That'll be your chance. The guard is... I'm only human. Does revisiting Metal Gear Solid 1 make you glad the movie adaptation never happened? Yeah. Um... Yeah, we can't get out of here in this phase. <laughs> Why did they leave the corpse there? Honestly, I think it's just negligence. So he died. We're like close to the torture chamber right now, right? So he died during on that that tortured uh, chair. So they were probably just like, just toss him in over there. Snakes. 
Nate, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Showtime! And then in Metal Gear Solid 4, they're like, don't you love this guy? Don't you actually wish the best for him? Okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the circle button repeatedly. To uh, chat, to be honest strength. with you, when in those previous enough, attempts, press the select button I had a when finger over the select zero, button. The game is over. Just there in case. No continues, my friend. But now that we've been able to save, I, fought wars in Afghanistan, I feel okay. If we die, we just got to keep trying until we get it. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. <laughs> I was trained by the Russian group. I am not like one of those KGB slugs. Electric Blue is like being a six-monther. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniform fools. Well, shall we begin? Okay, Use your desk. Here we go. Yeah, I don't actually know like what the actual like best way to press a button is. Four phases, right? One down, How baby. Like that. <laughs> Shall we go again? You know, it's never come close to failing this. Is Sakurai. Yet? We're not finished yet. Micro presses, bro. It's micro presses. Can you take one more? Bro, I could do this all day. Micro presses. Give me more. You're a strong man. Give me more. Well, that's enough for now, I think. Okay. We live in a sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. <laughs> Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. Oh, <laughs> Snake, what are you well, talking he's about? A close friend high up in the <laughs> Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn. To lead a brave new world order. He doesn't mean this though. He doesn't mean this shit. Russia just empowers him. Okay, so now I think we hope that Otacon shows up and gives us a little, uh, sludge. You okay, Snake? He won't come automatically. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah, my arm hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay, but you can leave out the Benzedrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry, it'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. It does feel good. How does that feel, Snake? A little better? How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? 
anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Oh, Please. shit. Tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. What you just saw there? I don't have any family. MGS2 can't do no. that. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my Captain own Hampton. Hand. Big Thanks for being boss. a 43 monther. What? Big boss? Oof. I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So. This music elevates this game. Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him? Knowing that? Yep. Yep. How? wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. Yep. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while. And Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm just Sorry. talking about Gray Fox. <laughs> Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> nice little grin still there. Calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did. In Zanzibar. Told you it would matter. It was nothing personal. We were just professionals I told you. on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. <laughs> I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. Damn. You're a scientist, not Love a fortune that teller. Love that shit. Is Jennifer Hale the most successful voice actor in this game? I'll call Nastasha and then we'll call Otacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Just because you are locked up does not mean there is no chance of escape. 
Keep your eyes and ears open, and when you see a chance, take it. <laughs> She's very encouraging, man. I don't have his number, chat. <laughs> I don't have Otacon's number. He told me what it was, and I just did not call him. Lyle Kane, thanks for being a four-monther. Chat, has any, anybody got Otacon's number? <laughs> 14112, okay. Still okay. Look at his portrait, yeah. man. <laughs> the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask, what should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big He looks so cool. Nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Yeah, well, I won't tell him what the wheel said. So, Chet, this is really interesting. There's basically, like three ways out of this prison cell one Otacon's gonna come help us two I think you can just hide under the bed three uh we do another day of torture but then at the end of that uh the cyborg ninja comes and just chops the door open um I think Otacon's the funniest one Come help me out, bro. Hey, I'm here. This fucking game? Good God. Sound design is just... It's me. Best in class, bro. Wow, they even capture you. Hurry, get me out of here. It, let me go, that hurts. Hurry up. Those footsteps were so nice. Favor? Let me go. Jeez, it's like an animal's cage. Yeah, Snake really lost his mind oh, there. What a smell. Because of him. Jaded Alex Ra Raiders, welcome in. Yeah, it's the Derpa Chief. You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I, I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. <laughs> Wake up, you idiot. <laughs> well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch well, a I've got to I don't stop. give a shit. <laughs> you have to get past the communications <laughs> tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. Huh. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. So chat says you can botch this even. What the hell? If you try to fight him, apparently things go bad.
Really? I can't try to just punch this guy? I see. <laughs> he had me in his fucking sights. <laughs> Shit, you know I hate poop jokes, right? You know I don't laugh at shit like that. That's funny to me. His priorities were they they fell that way. He could have he could have just pulled the trigger right there. But he's like, you know what? It's, I'm so sorry. I I really have to go take care of this. Cool. We got our shit back. Would recommend getting the chaff grenades under the bed in Meryl's old cell. Um, all right. I think we've been in there and there wasn't anything there last time, but yeah, maybe they added more. Cause I mean, it looks like, God, look at this. It looks like the only way through this is a chaff grenade. That's crazy, huh? Timer bomb. Oh my god. That is so funny and I totally I early butter I totally would have forgotten about that. your stuff back you should take a good look through it if you're slow equipping an item in battle it could mean death now that you've got your stuff back no i didn't say anything funny that was a close one snake ocelot You'll pay for that. You'll pay for that. <laughs> You're gonna pay for that, the asshole. Now that you've got your stuff back. You'll pay. Honestly, that's like exactly the noise Kenneth Baker was making. Oh, those vitamins. <laughs> this is shadow. <laughs> Look at the <this> shadow. <laughs> it's so cool, dude. That's really nice. Kind of nuts, yeah. So I, if you, either you use a chaff grenade there or... Uh, you just start running. Increase security there, Mucho. Yeah, three more chaff grenades. Excellent. Ooh, six more. Great call. Great call. And there's a bulletproof vest on floor two. Gosh, I don't think I ever used the bulletproof vest. I'm curious about that. Bulletproof vest on floor two. Hey, we need rations too. Okay, so chat, remind me. I do remember that everyone was really mad at Damiani for failing the torture sequence, but I don't remember him goofing up the ketchup sequence. Is that why? 
Was he just so fed up with everybody making fun of him for messing up the ketchup that he's like, I'm going to fail this on purpose? Hey, 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 hey. If you want to skip having to chase the rat for the pal key, make sure you have more than 10 optional alerts by then. I don't know what that means. What does it mean to have an optional alert? He tapped out on purpose. Wow. Non-story alerts. Oh, we're a chat. I think we're honestly, I think we're already over 10. Um, oh, I don't think there's anything on this floor for us anymore, actually. And you said upstairs here is where I could get bulletproof armor? Or are you talking about the next building? Oh, it has to be more than 10. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> We're talking Otacon's floor. Okay, okay. Uh, we probably have that at this point. Wouldn't you say, chat? Well, a lot of the times that I have alerted everybody, we did, um... We did die. So I wonder if on this save file we have 10 plus. I didn't know about that little gimmick. He botched the ketchup. He stood there while the guard ran out of the room and locked him back in. He couldn't survive another torture, so he had to submit. You're saying it wasn't intentional. You did it, Snake. You got out of that situation. Man, that feels so high stakes. I love that torture sequence. Uh, I guess we should see what they have on the other side. I feel, I feel like it's really well presented. Um... It comes from an absolutely unexpected point. I think you all have an idea of like what's going to happen after you win a boss fight. And uh defeating Sniper Wolf does not give you a little celebration. It's just more shit. Oh shit. We got to go. Yeah, yeah, just do that now. Go, 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 go. E. You're all right. Oh, you're all right. Okay. Whew. You can run and shoot at the same time if you hold X while aiming. Very useful for the tower sequence, so you don't have to stop. Okay, I'll try. That's new, that's new tech to me. Oh, speaking of new tech, does anybody have a screenshot of 2B they, as a new character in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus? I saw a couple of people uh, talk about it in chat. Oh, so you know what? We could have... Um, we could have been we could have shipped ourselves here. We could have gotten in a box in a, in one of those trucks and they would have shipped us straight here. I'm not sure that's actually faster. Shit. To be in Grand Blue. Wow. I would not think that Grand Blue Fantasy Versus would be the kind of game to have a guest character. 
Yeah, here we are. That's so well executed. That's crazy. Well, good for that game. You know what I mean? There are already crossovers in the gotcha. Yeah, I mean, those those are, forgive me for saying this, easier to implement. A fighting game character, like, takes so long to create and, like, give a move set, balance it, make sure it works with all the other characters in your game. Like, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus has super high quality character models and all that shit. That's just wild. They showed a roadmap of the other DLC characters, but they are all Grand Blue characters other than 2B. Um. Oh yeah, this means nothing to me. <laughs> this isn't you're like, oh, that's a cool design for like a fighting game. You know what I mean? It's like, ew. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Normal to be normal and normal. You know, it's like okay. All right. We're gonna have to have a discussion chat. Uh, I think that the grand blue. Uh. RPG coming out next year looks really cool, but I think there is simply no room on the docket for it. I don't think we can play that game. I think we've even been in this one. I think we've been in the, the three. Body armor. Yeah, you're fine. You're going to make it. What's over here? That's where you fight Cyborg Ninja. Oh, of course. Cool. Let's see if they cleaned up the bodies. I'm sorry, is it ever explained? I'm sure there's somebody we can call to ask. Is it ever explained why this area is gassed? Is it like, uh, those terminals run more efficiently? Oh, they did not clean this area up. <laughs> no rush on that. Okay. Fair enough. You always use stun grenades for the stairs? Yeah, you don't have to kill everybody. I am nervous about the stairs. The stairs is where I gave up when I was a kid. That was my hurdle. And then nothing else has really changed in here. Damn. I, uh, I, I was a break. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that like I never came back, but I lent it to a friend. I, um, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink demo. January 1st is what that says? It just says, it just says January, got it. Yeah, um, maybe, maybe we just stream the demo for one day. 
Take a photo of the poster, of course. Good thinking, good thinking, good thinking, good thinking, good thinking, good thinking. So yeah, I, I lent it to a friend at that point. I traded him for Mission Impossible. And I fucking hated it. And I was like, okay, I'm ready to trade back. And then it took him like months after that. Nothing happened. But wrong one? Mission Impossible The Game, no. Mission Impossible The Game on PS1. Just miserable. So it has to be the police knots, which is what we're looking at. That's also police knots for the record. You have to save the photo and then look at it on, from the main menu under the special option to see the ghost. Oh my gosh. That's so silly. So you don't even know. That's some ultra secret shit, dude. Ultra, ultra. I had Mission Impossible on N64. It was a fucking nightmare. Same game. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I got past like the second or first mission. The gas was to prevent Otacon from leaving and to prevent intruders. That's so funny. So his co-workers are gone, but they're like, you, you got to stay. <laughs> Damn. Poor guy. He did invent a killer robot. Ooh, ah. Uh, those probably aren't worth it. Nah, probably not, probably not. So yeah, let's check out our body armor. Reduces damage upon impact. Oh, it looks cool. Visual upgrade. Kinda, it's, it's really slim. <laughs> Watching my time. Yeah, let's go. I feel like we can kill the helicopter tonight. Um, I don't remember which of these doors I couldn't open before. This one. Medicine. Uh, medicine. So cool, dude. I think, uh, like, the glass in these environments looks really nice. Nice diazepam. We need that. A lot of Fama's ammo. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, it's time to start blasting. Thank you, chat. Good strat. I learned that from chat. <laughs> they said, just blast them. 
Uh, strangely enough, I think this room has a super different vibe in Twin Snakes. This was something I remember. Just feels different. Something about it. Oh, we'll never be back in there. Baby Kyle's Revenge Mission Impossible would be super fun if we're like ultra cheating. You know what I mean? If we're giving myself invulnerability and like one hit kills, I would be in. They had the Mario and Yoshi dolls you could shoot. I do remember that. That is where they appeared for sure. Handker. Hey pups, it's me, Sniper Wolf. You like that smell? Um, do we think there's anything I'm missing? There was that one cave that had good shit in it. It's like making me think that maybe there's more caves that have good shit in them, but maybe that's it. So funny, I had a friend who had the PC version of this. He gave up uh, at the wolf section. He said, I didn't want to play that anymore. I guess we all, at some point, get to some spots where it's like, I don't think I can get past that. And it's like, you can. You can absolutely get past that. Just keep trying. But you're like, nah. desire. <sighs> now here's the thing. Sniper Wolf lives. It would be a good idea to save my diazepam for her. However, I kind of want to shoot a rat. Let me let me do one. Let me do one. Let me do one. Let me do one. Shit. There we go, baby. We got one. <laughs> Tranquilizer that Wolf is using is diazepam. Diazepam? It's benzodiazepam based anti anxiety drug. It has a strong effect on the central nervous system and it's often used as a psychotropic drug. So, how does it stop your hands from trembling? Anti anxiety drugs are also effective as muscle relaxants. They're widely used to treat psychosomatic disorders such as autonomic ataxia or as pre anesthetics to relax patients before an operation. Oh my God. I see. <laughs> he says, I see. <laughs> it becomes addictive like alcohol. An adult should take no more than one to four doses per day, with each dose being 0.25 to 0.5 milligrams each. Jeez, you sound like a doctor. I am a scientist. Oh, shit. I'm out of ammo. Well, we got one. Yeah, I remember there being a cutscene here. I was shocked when we came in here and nothing happened. What did he say to her? She said, shoot me, snake. And he said, nope. What did he say? <laughs> Nothing glamorous about it. It's 
listening, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. She's alive. She's alive. Snake, about Meryl. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you said. <laughs> what, <are you> doing? <laughs> what is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Everyone was Meryl listening. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Yes, she's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. So it's what like do you mean? <laughs> no, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? <laughs> uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? In New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My nice grandfather man. was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Tough ghost. Thanks for being a 14 monther. Nah, help me with that. Help me, help me with that entire conversation. I need help. I need help. Uh. So, Snake's like confessing to being attached to Meryl, right? Her uncle's like, ha ha, must be in the genes, right? And then Snake's like, what are you talking about? And he's like, well, didn't you know Naomi's grandfather used to be in the FBI? I'm so lost at that point. And then Miller... Is like, what? Oh, tell me more. Tell me more about that. What are you talking about? <laughs> Naomi interrogating Snake like she's FBI. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I wasn't picking up on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was acting like a, a regular old... Oh shit, I'm like right under it. Okay, okay, stop then. Stop then. Stop your shit. Stupid camera. There's no way I could have seen you. <laughs> we should look for more, I guess. That is so rude. <laughs> Do you want spoilers for MGS4? It's a fake story. No. The FBI thing about her grandfather is made up? And they reveal that in Metal Gear Solid 4? Why? IDK. <laughs> ah, IDK.
Stupid retconning. The only, chat, the only retconning that's really bothering me as I play through this game, still, is... Uh... Hal Emmerich being such a hack. Um... The Metal Gear that his dad designed in the 60s, maybe maybe MJ's 5 is 70s at that point, is so much cooler than the Metal Gear he designs in 2005. It stands up. It's got the same damn head. It can walk around. It transforms. And then so like, you know, 30 years later, Hal's like, I got, I got Metal Gear Rex. Look at this. And it's like, it's a worse version of what your dad made. <laughs> That's why Liquid was questioning her. He knows she's lying. Got it. Yeah, 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 I actually buy that. I buy that. It does sound like a lie. Can I get no ya? Second movie I produced beat WB in a copyright suit and is able to release in theaters this April. Fits this channel. It's called The People's Joker. Okay. Oh, yeah. So WB was trying to say no one else can put the word Joker in a movie title? Yeah, that's a huge oh, yeah. Congrats. You beat him. Joker is a playing card. <laughs> you know what I mean? Joker Joker is what you call someone who jokes. Uh-uh. They don't get they don't get ownership of the word Joker. Sahelanthropus only works with Psychomantis controlling it in Metal Gear Solid 5. That's part of the story. Without him, it doesn't move. Alright, from a design standpoint, it's cooler than Rex. It has the same damn head. I do appreciate that detail, though. So it's really fun. Um, basically, those other hallways and those other rooms, I remember distinctly. Oh, okay. This is just an L. I was like, I don't, I don't remember this at all. Just an L shape. Oh, I only have one stun grenade. We're going to have to fight our way through. What is this? Oh, shit. Don't forget the rope. What if you do? That'd be so annoying. You did the first time. So you had to go all the way back down? Body armor would be a good idea, says chat. All right, well, let me do this first. Obviously, I always like having a ration equipped to get the free heal. <laughs> Shit. if you go in that door <laughs> oh shit you can't it's frozen it has to be c4 from the outside copy that my bad i keep on equipping it trying to reload
shit. Whew. Yeah, uh, square and X. That was a really, really good tip. Excellent fucking tip, chat. That was found recently. That's a glitch? It almost seems like uh, by design to me. Good job getting through there. The body armor helped a lot and uh, running and gunning helped a lot. Oh, there's a way to use the door is the glitch that chat's talking about. Cool. Door skip glitch. What do you do? Look at this tiny room. Shit. You get shot through the door, cool. Shot through the door! All right, there's a there's a once in a uh, playthrough call with Nastasha right here. That is a FAMAS. It is a bullpup style assault rifle. It I know what a FAMAS is. I picked this thing up hours ago. It is a reliable weapon with smooth action. It can fire up to 1,000 rounds per minute. On full Pure. auto, you will empty a 25 round magazine in a few seconds. Oh, she wants in on this drama. With the signing of the START III Accord. According to the terms of START III, both Russia and the U.S. are to reduce the number of their nuclear warheads in deployment to between 2,000 and 2,500 missiles. The current president has not yet had any major foreign policy successes. <laughs> His term will be up soon, and the word at the White House... We're talking about Solidus Snake right now. This one for the <laughs> him and his supporters who is another clone of big boss like solid and liquid snake who just aged faster was dependent on ratification of the start two but nerves were the most important weapon in russian arsenal naturally the conservatives in the russian parliament were greatly opposed to disarming them the expansion of NATO, along with tension caused by disagreements over the application of the ABM Treaty with regards to TMD systems, made ratification in the 1990s difficult. It took a tremendous amount of pressure and secret negotiations to get the Russians to sign the START III tomorrow. But the political situation in Russia is tenuous at best, and one small incident could bring the signing to a crashing halt. If the Russians learn that America has secretly developed a new type of nuclear weapon, there is no telling how they might react. World opinion They're probably not going to sign that treaty. Us too. That liquid snake is a smart one. He knows the political climate. His actions were obviously very well calculated. Damn. It is true. That the signing of START 3 would mean a reduction in nuclear missiles, but it would still leave between 4,000 to 5,000 missiles between the US and Russia alone. That is more than enough to destroy every living thing on this planet several times over. There is a big difference between nuclear reduction and nuclear elimination. So funny. Kojima is serious about these themes. Negotiations for Star 3 began in the late 90s. Okay. Um, we gotta equip it first. Where's that rope? Long, durable rope made from nylon fibers. Ready? 
drop if it is at least 12 millimeters thick lightweight and hard to cut you should be able to repair with it as well it is not a hemp rope is it no, no no of course not it looks like it's made of nylon fibers good when hemp rope <laughs> gets wet it loses its flexibility it would not be good for repairing but that rope sounds like it will not be a problem good shit a tease for the purpose of this rope. I like that. Now, unfortunately, I think in the instruction manual, there's like a, a guide to how to control the repelling. It's like, here are the, the repelling controls. I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe I'm incorrect about that. Oh, shit. The scale of this game. Holy shit. We talk about the Switch 2 rumor. No, what do you got? Damn. I mean, we talk about Switch 2 all the time. Snake. I'm afraid I can't let you get past you. Liquid. You're not going any farther. Die! Alright, now why is Liquid stopping Snake here? What's he up to? Jeff Grubb says the Switch 2 announcement is happening tomorrow? Long way down. If only I had a rope. I should be able to use that rope I got. What are you going Absolutely to insane if you didn't pick up that rope. Now you're mine. If I stay here, I'm finished. It's a joke. Okay, 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 okay. Chat, don't don't just drop some Jeff Grubb jokes in this chat. Quit that shit. <laughs> don't bring that offensive humor into this chat room. This is loud too. Huh? Let me know if it gets too loud. Holy shit. Wow, on a PlayStation 1? Here's how to repel. Press the <laughs> X button to jump away from the wall. While you're away from the wall, press down on the directional button to drop down. If you jump while pressing right or left on the directional button, you can make a big jump in that direction. If you press and hold the circle button while using the directional button, you can walk slowly across the wall. If you're careful with the timing, you should be able to dodge the gunfire from behind while you rappel down. If anyone can do it, you can, Snake. It's fun dialogue, right? Where they, uh... Yeah, obviously, they're talking to the player for most of that as they talk about buttons that only appear on the PlayStation controller. Okay. I see. So even if you're not pressing directions, Snake's gonna go left and right a little bit. Shit. Snake, get, the, get a fucking hold of yourself, bro. Don't touch the steam. <laughs> All right, to my knowledge, I think that's the only time you do that in the whole game, right? <laughs> that's it. That's the repelling section. That's so funny. C4. Can you use C4 in the helicopter fight? Oh, look at these bozos. You see those bozos? Snipe the guys. That's a fun idea. There are really not a lot of uh, 
sniping opportunities. Oh, it's for the door behind you. Of course it is. He got the shakes. All right, these guys are just tanking these headshots. <laughs> All right, bros. Oh, shit. Now they're shooting back? Come on now. I feel like that was worth it. <laughs> I don't think that was worth it. Oh, shit. Sorry, you were asking about the fantasy critic video? You mean with easy allies? I have no idea when that's happening. That's usually a bit into January, I think. There's a funny little conversation you can get with Colonel Campbell, Mei Ling, and Naomi during the Hind D fight if you have your audio set to monaural instead of stereo. I don't think most people know about it. I certainly didn't. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's a lot more to this than I remember, obviously. This is the action portion of the game, huh? Yeah. Huh? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Any interest in playing Toe Jam and Earl? You would have to make a really good case for that on a docket submission stream. I, uh... I love the style of the game. Like, when I was a kid, that was a game I always wanted to play if I'm going to a friend's house, right? I actually don't think that game is that fun to play. I'd be more... Wasn't there, like, a Toe Jam and Earl game on Xbox? I'd be more inclined to play that. Just some pipes. Um... You know what's something I'm really appreciating right now? I forget what it's called. Uh, where uh, basically you feel more confined because there's, you know, the black gradient around the camera lens. And I think they do it every time that um, there's jamming. It is bad, but unique in the aesthetic. Yeah, exactly. A vignette. Exactly. Thanks, chat. Damn. There's no way I can get down there. Chia. All right. Maybe we'll try that elevator again. <laughs> My nearly 70-year-old auntie plays Toe Jam and Earl nearly every day. But when I go over there, I have to play it with her and pretend like it's good. Every game is somebody's game, right? That is so wild. Gabe could have jumped that. You know what? You're not wrong. Ooh, there's that. There's the second time we've heard that little uh, piano sting. 
that I do not normally associate with uh, Metal Gear Solid. Don't shoot! It's me! Don't shoot! It's me, Snake. Otacon. Oh, it's used for Otacon both times too. Dramatic is your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. Hey, buddy, don't be a watching. nuisance, okay? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. Yeah, How he's tapping his watch, all right. The elevator, of course. <laughs> the first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator. All right, so let's do the elevator That's section. Right. Let's do this elevator section, and then we'll stop it there. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No. You're wrong. I'm a piece of In shit. In movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Can love bloom on the battlefield? Have you ever loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, Shit. I mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you. Do you think love can bloom even on a battlefield? Oh, it is that part. Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. Damn, this guy is romantic. If you love someone... You have to be able to protect them. I think so, too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry. It'll be easy. Um, I told you before I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to, either. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Hey. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. <laughs> I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here. <laughs> Quit your shit. And I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. All right, all right, all right. So elevator section is after the helicopter section. I got it all mixed up, bro. Um. All right, so let's do a helicopter and then stop for the night. Hey, hey, okay. All right, all right, all right. You're being a nuisance. No, 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 no. I got to tell you, you can't do shit like that. I have to express my disapproval, Mucho. Um, a wild thing in chat I saw. My 68-year-old grandma has a PS2 and just plays Dark Cloud and Final Fantasy X on repeat. I fucking love that. But also, like, your grandma wasn't that old when those games were new. You know what I mean? God, that's so cool. And I mean, Dark Cloud is, you know, huge. Uh, we're on the Meryl ending. We're on the, we're on track for the Meryl ending. What's funny is chat was telling me in that flashback sequence, her dialogue actually changes if you're on your way to, uh, the Otacon ending. <laughs> you in retirement. I mean, hell yeah. What can I do for you, Snake? Grinding RPGs for all time. Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped that shit. Gotta go swat down a fly. Um, I don't have the proper- Oh, I do! When did I get this bad boy? <laughs> 
When did this show up in my inventory? Call back and apologize. It was right outside that door. Copy that. Wait, so do we go back up to the top? Looks like it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I was about to do that shit, and then um, the snipers from across the path interrupted my plans. Oops, we are headed the wrong way. Copy that. God. Yeah, I just think this shit's so cool. The way the uh, reticle moves around as you aim. Understated advanced shit. Miles ahead, bro. <laughs> uh, people playing Wii Sports at a retirement home is very different than grinding an RPG. Super different. Up. Up. I never thought to go up. You're gatekeeping. Okay, Jack. Ow! God, those suck. How could I have seen that? Can't take anything for granted, you know? All right. Hey, hey. Oh, I can't look up at them, though. <laughs> They're so confused, those poor cameras. Good shit. <laughs> An absolute maniac designed the security here. <laughs> you gotta respect it. If you want a platinum FF10, you have to go off the grid. <laughs> nice, we need those. Hell yeah. Load up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect. Really nice. I love seeing the top of this elevator, dude. That is so cool. Golly. You played Metal Gear Solid and Game Boy Color. Yes. Yeah. Not since it launched. Not since that first playthrough, though. I remember, um... It's got a like a pretty cool looking Metal Gear design. I remember like it having like pretty serious themes with its bosses. I remember conveyor belts and cardboard boxes, but I don't remember that much from that game. I think we should just eat this up so that we can safely body armor. All right. 
Here we go. BB Boy, thanks for being a 43 monther. The Aussie boss with a boomerang. Hell yeah. Um, I see why they would say that um, stereo helps here. The roof of the Mako reactor in FF7 Remake is crazy looking, and Square didn't need to do that. Oh, they went above and beyond. They didn't need to do half that shit. But they did it for us. Oh yeah, we got a little purple dot. Feels like I'm playing Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah. I've got iframes. Yeah. Ooh, nice hit. We'll take it. He's tanking the shit. This boss theme is so nice. Oh, he tricked me. Good move, Liquid. He's an ace pilot. What's Nastasha going to say about this rocket launcher? Hey! Are you about to disrespect Wolverine? Not in this house. Oof. Bail, bail, bail. Yep, 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 yep. Shit. <laughs> Chad, I gotta say, I really like this body armor. going on this is what I remember shit okay we're all right no 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 you never get this hit oh yeah he switched up the strats he's adapting What are you doing down there, brother? What are you doing down there, brother? Take cover. Yeah, I wonder where you would take cover, though, right? 
I think I just got lucky that he had a bad aim. All right, can't hit you when you're down, brother. You made the music stop. What's going on? Liquid? <laughs> that was wild. My friends tell me I'm weird because my favorite sound effect in Metal Gear Solid is the lock-on whistle sound. I don't know, I just like it. Okay, bro. What is he up to? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get down from there. How are we doing on ammo? We might have to pick some up. He turned this into an annoying fight, huh? Actually, I wonder if we do like a chaff grenade if you uh, would switch up his strats. He's being annoying. <laughs> what are you shooting at? Nice shot, Snake. Oh, he's still up. Where the hell? I lost him. He's up, he's up. Going down. My friends think I'm weird. I just, I don't know. What can I say? I just like that sound. It's my ringtone. I like his frustration noise. Honestly, that's what I sound like. When I bench Jared Goff. We got seven shots in the left in this bad boy. We gotta make him count. <laughs> it's going under again. Want to try the mono codec? Could we? I think it might be too late, right? To switch your options? This fight is not at all how I remembered it. I remember there being a lot more action. A lot more stress and suspense. This is crazy. hanging out now. No, he's going under again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I 
Okay. All right, little brother. Oh, he's got a little magic pixel, huh? All right. No, he's going to make this wall explode. Yeah, I don't know where to go right now. Did I blow up? Did I blow up? <laughs> what a dumb loser. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he said that. That's funny, bro. Oh my god. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Alright, so that's where that's we will so. pick up tomorrow. Okay. That that's a fantastic crunch, crunch yeah. It? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure... I kind of hit a lot. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored. Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. Uh, one thing I wonder is if uh, we should try to manipulate this rat thing. If we should try to get spotted a few times so that uh, we get this little rat shortcut. What's your next exciting thing in 2024? It's a good question. Um, I like uh, I'm, like I want to make I want to like, I want to do a trip in 2024. I want to be more creative in 2024. If you're just talking about like video game wise, Final Fantasy VII is coming out so fast. So is uh, like a dragon. Um, 2024 is going to be a good year, I think. Let's, let's save, uh, the ghost of Kojima for tomorrow too, after we beat the game. What's up, snake? Eh. All right, six and a half hours in. It took me so long. Ah, oh, God, chat, we just should have done the PS3 version the whole time. We just should have. We just should have. I should have trusted you. I'm not a stickler for audio issues, but man alive. Where would I travel? Japan? I would love to travel to Japan. Yeah, I really, really would. Your ears were not good enough. Honest, I, maybe it's because I've heard this version so much, you know? Master Collection sucks. I think it'll be good for 2 and 3. I think we're clear to play Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 on the Master Collection. Tell Keely he needs to do something for TGS. Ah, TGS is super close to uh, Gamescom, isn't it? They're like a month apart or even less. He's not going to do anything for the TGS. <laughs> 
there are visual glitches that ruin moments of MGS2. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Mona, I, I, I think, uh, Mooney, or, or excuse me, I think one a year would be a fun tradition. If, like, around Christmas time we play another, um, Metal Gear Solid game. This has been so fun for me. I'm really glad that this game holds up. <laughs> Hit me up, I'll make the perfect 10-day itinerary. I don't think any trip I take, I would love to take, like, weeks-long trips. I can't imagine doing it. It's my dream to. I would love to take weeks off. How cool would that be? I don't think I ever will. It's hard for me to imagine like more than one week. Gamescom is almost a week straight and I'm like, ooh, it's a lot of time off. <laughs> it's so stupid, right? It's so stupid. And even then what sucks is that like it's not time off. I'm working most of those days, so it's like not even a vacation. It was like you took this whole trip, but none of that was like, uh, you know, rewarding in a vacation way. Yeah, you know I would stay in a capsule hotel, no doubt. Eight days is the perfect length scientifically. Okay, I trust that. Delayed input live from Japan. That would be, I think that's what I would have to do to justify it, right? Is the dream is, the dream is like, forget about work, dude. Like go out, just figure out whatever shit, right, fluff, go by your nose. Um, if, like discover your life's truest wants, you know what I mean? Just be there for yourself. But I think maybe to like justify it in my own like budget and also like conscience, my work conscience maybe like making it a work vacation would make it work I just started a work vacation a few hours ago just time off work though not a trip yeah here you are. are there any specific spots you'd want to hit a Kirby cafe I would actually I would avoid a Kirby cafe <laughs> Eight days is too short to spend in Japan. That's wild to me. You know what I would do? I would want, like, I would want to do like um, hot springs. I'd want to go. I would want to go where it's snowy out, and you could like dip into like a hot spring. I'd want to. I'd want to be around some snow. <laughs> a study out of Finland's University of Tampere that analyzed 54 people's trips. 54. Come on now found that while longer trips didn't necessarily increase post-vacation bliss, in-the-moment happiness levels peaked on day eight of vacation. Hide my tattoos. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking like, um, I guess, I guess that's all hot springs. Yeah. Gotta hide my tats. My full back Skyrim tattoo. My Fusro Da, dude. Um, alright, chat. So tomorrow. Uh we will be celebrating Mucho's birthday. I have to assemble his birthday present. It's gonna take a little bit of work. I might bring a like a crafting table out here. Uh once that is complete and Mucho feels uh, properly appreciated, uh, we will complete this game. And I do feel like, I feel like whether this is a good halfway point. I feel like it's realistic. We'll definitely be going overtime tomorrow, but I think like not too dramatically. I, I think that we'll, be, we'll finish it at a decent hour. Because here's what I remember. Uh, action elevator sequence. Uh, sniper wolf fight. Vulcan Raven fight. I think flip those. Yep. Uh, a little bit of nonsense with the mysterious key cards. And then the finale, which is long. I feel like the finale itself is an hour. AOB in Japan, do you, uh, I can email you the interact we used as a template and you can adjust from there. Do you, do you like organize trips for people? 
<laughs> Mucho has hit Wolverine three times today. That's funny. I've I've been not even catching those. <clears throat> You gonna be on any Min Max Game Awards? Uh, yeah, I think I am on there. I have not looked at the videos, but uh, I submitted some snubs. I submitted. I, so here's what happened: as I submitted one snub, and then I was like, "Oh my gosh, there was another one that they totally missed." And then I wrote that one. And what I said to Ben was, "Hey, just pick the one that you think is better." And he said, "Okay, I'm gonna use both of these." <laughs> I'm in the video. Okay, great. I was like, that was not my intent. I didn't mean to do two. Oh my god, this is funny. This is HD Mucho Cam. And it's in slow mo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he dragged him close though. He actually dragged him close. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Alright, I have to say I'm focused here. I'm focused on this game and there's this, I still got this like mucho periphery of like when he's fucking around. Hey! <laughs> I've got mucho fuck around since. No, it's not gonna slide by me, Buster. I got the Metal Gear Solid collection from the charity stream. I've never played it before. Um, Even, hey, even like... I almost would recommend starting with two or three. Maybe three is like a really good intro. Because like while I've had like, a, today's been pretty easy breezy for us, right? We have not butted our heads against any segment for a long time. Um, I, I do wonder if this game is a little old at this point for somebody to just hop into for the first time. CD Kaminsky thanks for being a 14 monther. My friend said three is recommended to start, yeah. Three is so stylish. I saw someone in the chat earlier saying they're concerned about Delta, and I kind of get it. Because, like, if you just make it, you know, like, Unreal Engine, Photo Real, you might lose a bit of that style. Drexlore, thanks for being a brand new subscriber. <laughs> the art style of Delta looks awful. I mean, you can't say, there's, you cannot say it looks awful. You can't say it looks awful. <laughs> yeah, do not play any of the MSX games. Don't even, don't even look at them. Looks cold. I can accept cold, but I can't accept awful. Three is perverted beyond the acceptable line, even for its time. Yeah, actually, I, I do, like, there is, like, uh... I do think three's got some questionable shit. But perverted? Beyond the acceptable line. I might be misremembering shit. Obviously, there's stuff here in Metal Gear Solid that I... Look, I played it in 2018 and still don't remember a lot of this. What's he say? I guess that's the creme the cremation's been handled. I forget what I forget how he hand you know, how he phrased it. That was wild. <laughs> guess we don't have to worry about the cremation. Pokemon Center in Shibuya. Yeah, that kind of thing I probably would go to. An Adoe gaming cafe you can stream from. God, that would be sick. I don't know how I could plan that, right? That takes care of the cremation is the line. Um, Chad, if I was streaming from like a, a, an internet cafe, how sick would that be? When does the Nintendo Museum open? 
If I can't catch tomorrow's stream, just want to say happy holidays and thank you for all your wonderful content this year. Best streamer writer in the biz. Also best chat in the biz by far. Hell yeah. That part's true, at least. We know that for sure. Um, yeah, tomorrow's stream starts at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And just to be clear with you, chat, about the schedule going forward. Yeah, there won't be a stream on Christmas the 25th. There will not be a stream on December 29th. But I'll be back Saturday the 30th as well. So we're definitely streaming uh, Saturday the 23rd. Uh, and we are also streaming Saturday the 30th. Max's 10-year stream anniversary. if you want to raid. We should raid that. We should raid that. It's been a while since we raided Max. We should do that. That's a fun one. Okay, chat. Uh, thank you so much for today and everything. Um, thank you for your patience at the top of this stream. The internet was going out. I was futzing with... I could not find my cables for the PlayStation 3. We somehow made it through all of those things. Um... One more plug for all the forms and stuff. Feedback form for the Toxic League. If you're in the Toxic League or you're interested in it, you want to give some feedback, that's on the Discord. Also on the Discord and in chat currently. Um, the ballots for Chat Stupid Choice Awards. That will all make a lot more sense January 1st. Chat is just voting on streaming moments and characters that we appreciated throughout the year. And then finally, ballot submissions also uh, will be rolled on the 1st. Uh, we're going to determine what games we'll be playing on... The new year, 2024. That, that's a, So January 1st is a really big stream. There's a lot happening on that stream. All right, cool. All right, thanks, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, see you all tomorrow. You're appreciated. And uh, thanks for being around. It's a robot party. Robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party!